All right, hello and welcome to another episode of the Collingwood FC Create Club Career Mode. We are starting a brand new season today. So I'm going to be honest with you guys, I would only expect three games, mainly because of the teams we've got in our group. We've got Empoli, who have just been promoted from the Serie B to the Serie A, I believe, or at least they uh, survived in Serie A. I can't remember which one, actually. We have Salernitana, who did get relegated from the Serie A, but they were in it. So they're not going to be easy either. And then we've got Strom's God set, who I think... Off of memory in the end of last episode, won the Norwegian League. So we've got some very good quality teams and we're just in League 2. So I don't know how we're going to do because two of these teams have played in Serie A. And granted, the Norwegian League isn't probably the highest prestige league in the world. But it's not going to be a bad league either, especially if they won the league. So I also want to cover something quickly actually before we get any further in. I've realised now, and you guys have probably realised as well, it's actually the game, the FIFA 22 that it's fucking up the audio. It's not my headset, it's not my controller, it's actually the game itself. Because I've seen other people have troubles with it, and it's not their uh, equipment, it's actually the game itself. And all it does, all it requires is a quick restart, but that's the problem. It might cut off the episode, which isn't great, but um, hopefully we'll be able to work around it. I want to get out of the way. Before we go into anything, we'll go to one special place. That'll be the free agents list. Because there were some retirees and some brand new players in. I want to see what we've got to work with. Pax and Aronson doesn't look bad for uh, speed and everything, but his other stuff's kind of rubbish. We'll start scouting some people. I'm mainly looking for regens rather than um, actual players. That makes sense. Uh, Ian Adamson looks good. We'll put a scout on him. I'm just going to scout him on the first day. So as we continue through the episode, we might get more info on them. Javier Aguado doesn't look great. I'm just trying to see... What do we need, actually? We need defence. We'll just work on defence for now. I'll maybe do some other ones off-screen, but we'll just focus on defence for right now. And only regens. So, more centre-backs, really. But Akil doesn't look awful. Al-Rashidi, the real guy... Al Sharani, Charlie Allison, there's not I'm not gonna waste too much time if they look rubbish, but if they look good then I'll put some time into looking at them. Anderson Arroyo, his speed and everything looks good, but everything else looks rubbish. There's not a lot of great ones here, is there realistically? Um Zorahan Basson, quite fast, but again not great technical stats. I need someone with good technical stats as well as speed. And actually, I need centre backs so I can stop looking at full backs. Full backs were good for, I think. Robert Bjork doesn't actually look awful for an 18 year old. We'll put a little scouting report on him. Um, Blaney. No. I kind of want to just cover a couple of. Oh, Ben Brennan. Oh, you know what? Could be alright. We'll put a little scout on him. I'm kind of just looking for centre backs. I'm kind of looking for. Regens, but if anyone else catches my eye, uh, like a fullback or anything, I'll definitely have a look. Vicente Carrazzo, speed looks good, technical stats could be improved, but we'll put a little um, scout on him as well. Oi, Bruno Caballero! We might need to stop him up quick as we can. Marcin Marcelino Carcelos. So, most of this is my. Well, it's not going to be a lot of gameplay. I, I'm assuming it'll only be three games. Just because of the fact that... I've actually put one on Carcelos. Just because of the fact that we've got some very difficult teams to beat in this group. Castillo, not really. There's two Castillos, a Castro. And that's because we haven't really defined it enough. What we're going to do actually is we're going to put it down to, to, nine, to 18 actually. So we get some more regens and less real players. So we've got down to Castillo. Castro. Uh, Kong Chi doesn't look great. Cordelison could be okay. A little slow, actually, but we'll put a scout on him anyway. Contreras. Some of them have good defensive stats, but a little slow. Aaron Coyle will find a club, I don't think, ever. For a guy. I don't know how to tell him. Uh, Lorenzo De Angelis doesn't look bad. It's just a... I don't know how long these scout reports are going to take. I don't really want to... 
spend all day on them. 16 days remaining. Uh, I don't want to like over scout. I might have to take some off and just kind of go for the best, the cream of the crop. But actually, we'll just look at these kind of stats. Owen Fuller is one I do want by the looks of it. Is he, actually? Yeah, he does. He does look decent. But I'm not going to... I'm not going to, like... I will need to kind of slow it down if I want them to have uh, Scarport soon. Thierry Gray, or... Goo? Gay? How do I pronounce it? Oh, yeah, Albert Gomez might be, uh... Might be coming in. You know, they say that we can't scout him. And he's a little slow, but I'm willing to take a risk on him. This might be a stupid idea, but I'm taking a risk on him. Some of his stats look really good, and I can't turn that down. If it comes out to be a stupid maneuver, or if it costs too much... He wants to be crucial. Okay. So he's very good, is what you're saying. Which is actually exactly what we want. We want very good. Three years, disregard Louis Claus. He wants 2.1k. Take that appearance bonus off and we'll accept that. For a little bit more wage then. That's fine. So by the looks of him being crucial and wanting a decent amount of wage, he could be a decent player. 73... This is broken. This is broken. It's just broken. We've just signed Albert Gomez. And it's just absolutely destroyed our centre-backs. I'm sorry, Parker. I'm sorry, Brady. I'm sorry, Vuksic. But we've just signed an overpowered centre-back. Granted, his pace at the fastest, but look at those defensive stats. 74 defending, 81 physical. Excuse me. He's not the slowest either, by any means. 73 sprint speed, 63 acceleration. Aggression's high. Jumping's high. Technical stats. Defensive awareness is good. Head and accuracy is good. Obviously, there's a lot to work on still from the boy, but like, I've just done a brilliant sign in there. Side tackle and stand tackle. If we can get a couple of good free agents in, I don't want to like, over overdo it. But if we get free agents where we need them, that'd be brilliant. I took a risk and it's paid off. And I can't complain about that at all whatsoever. So while we're taking risks, let's take a little gander at what we've got. What? How do I look at what's being scouted? I guess here would be the... There's 18 days remaining. I'm going to actually take Carcelos off. Gay could stay on. Brennan could stay on. Caballero could definitely stay on. DeAngelis could stay on. Aronson's a cam. We don't need a cam, so he can go... Well, I think we're set for the cam unless Jay Mason makes a big exit. Um, I, need, I just need to look at defenders, honestly. But I think... Um, I don't know. I think we try and sign one more, but I don't want to do it just now. I'm going to leave it a little bit, but... Gomez was a massive sign. Like, it was a massive risk, and it's actually paid off. And honestly, we could, we could go up a lot quicker than I expected in his career mode. I genuinely think we'll get playoffs this season if we can keep it playing well. And if the players develop well as well, obviously. So we're going to go to our first game against Salernitana. McNulty's gone. He signed on a pre-contract. Hart signed on a pre-contract. I can't remember where they went, but we'll see in a second once it gets to the third. We'll look in the inbox and see where they went. But that's a crazy sign, and that's, that was a risk and a reward. Enda Hart has gone to Sutton, Kovacevic has left alone to Varbergs, and McNulty has gone to Stevenage. But, oh my god. I can't complain about that. We've got to hold the... Wait a minute. Four million... I don't remember, well, deserving this much, I guess, really. Gomez is already second on the highest selling shirts. But I don't, what, did, how have I got this much? Something doesn't add up. I ended last season with 750k or something like that. 
They increase my budget by 584, which gives me a total of 4 million. The maths doesn't work there. I maybe should have put it on strict negotiations just to make it a bit more of a challenge, but at the same time, 4 million. What's that in wage budget? The wage budget's already 12k. Bruv, we could sign every free agent on the list. I'm not going to, obviously, that'd be just ridiculous. So if I wanted to, which I'm not going to, I could have nearly a 100k wage budget. Just could put it back to where it was. But uh, that's a ridiculous amount of money. That's a bit insane. Honestly, they're prepping us well for League, <laughs> for League 1. Obviously, we're still in League 2, but I don't... If we can make some good signings, I don't see how we don't get promoted. I'm just going to take... Before we go into this game, actually, I'm just going to take a quick look at strikers. Now, I like Latanzio and I like Coates, but if we can sign Gomez, what can we sign up front? Do we go for Ricky J. Jones? The answer, I think, is yes. What are stats looking like? He's He's fast. Which is always a good thing in my book. How much would he cost? The team will not... Okay, fair enough. Never mind then. He won't go because it's too important. I can't sell Alex Baldy. Sign Alex Baldy because even though he was a suggestion, I can't sign him until I think I get to the championship because the league is too much of a step down. And the same with Ted and Mengi. And I doubt he will come in on a loan now. I mean, I could always give it a go, but I, I tried that last year and he declined. So maybe not. But realistically, I'm just going to go quickly into the free agents and then have a gander at some of the strikers that are on offer, and then we will go into the game. If it takes too long to do all the transfer stuff, I will only do a three-game episode, and then we'll finish off the preseason uh, stuff next episode if it gets to that. Antolov, he could be a Pandev regen, to be honest. I won't be surprised. There's an Ibrahimovic regen in here somewhere as well. Obviously, he'll be Swedish. Now, I'm going to actually just check to see if there is an Ibrahimovic regen by doing a little bit of this. That's, if, that's even if Ibra's retired. I don't know if Ibra's actually retired. But this is probably our best bet. There's only one at the moment. And that can't surely be the regen. He just doesn't look good enough. We'll clear that. How do I clear that? I should know how to clear this. Uh, reset. That resets everything, though. Brav. Uh, do I have to reset everything? But I'm just thinking of a striker, because Laura Latanzio will grow to a certain amount. Jaden Coates won't grow. Um, they're both very proven scorers at this level, don't get me wrong. But I, if I want some ticks to the next level, I'll have to get a little look in on what we've got on the free agent market. Butkus, does, I thought he looked good at first. I have to focus mainly on the shooting stats here. Konsekau. Chichau? Don't know how to pronounce it. He's a little too slow for my liking. I'm going to base it off speed as well as shooting. Dumoulin doesn't look brilliant. Theo Dreyer. <laughs> namesake of the club. Uh, some, of these, some of these strikers don't look great. In all reality. Like, in all honesty. And if I'm missing one and you guys think he looks good, like Enrico Guidi, or Goody, he's only five foot nine, but he has a couple of greens. I will, I will put him scouting. I won't go in for him. I'm not really as fussed about looking for a striker as I am a defender, but I'm not going to say no to one either. Shu Hu. Not only is that a good name. That is a striker. Sorry about that. If I cut out, I was just uh, taking a screenshot of the name because it's such a cool name. I'm in this Discord where you can put like funny names in kind of thing. Uh, Karlovac. He's a little slow. I can't assign people to him anyway. Barry Logan, Roy Lord. It's not as imperative to get strikers as a defender. I've said that already. That's a real guy in the Karuma. Okay, his speed is good, but his finishing leaves a lot to be desired. And O'Connor as well. Not brilliant. Okpara. 
Nigeria. No. Song Su Park. Can't think of whose region that would be if it was anyone's. I'm trying to think of what like who would be retired, but it's only a second season, so it won't be a lot. That might be a Falcao regen if he's retired. Then again, that could also be a Falcao regen. Taylor Reynolds, no, Tommy Sanderson, Pedro Ribeiro. There's a couple of there's probably some really good shooting. I'm not looking at shooting, I'm kinda of looking at the other things. Hugo Soria doesn't look bad either. But I like I like my strikers to be fast. So Ricky J. Jones, even though he's not gonna be moved away. I'll still keep him on the shortlist for the long term. Van Dyke at Stryker. That'd be a title. Um, this is the uh, possible Ebro regen, but I doubt it looking at the the stats here. But he is six foot two, so he's got the height, and he will grow taller, surely. But no, we'll leave that for now. It's not a big deal. I just want to see what strikers we had. I'll maybe look at some more off screen as well. But Shu Hu might have a bit of Chinese to the club. Mainly because of the name, but also some of the stats aren't bad. He's 5'11". Quite fast. Green, Mostly greens in his physical. His metal stats aren't awful. Could be improved, obviously. Finishing good. Uh, ball control and dribbling's decent. Heading accuracy is good. Shot power is good. He'd actually maybe be better as a cam, honestly. But uh, we don't need a cam. So maybe we move on to Enrico Guidi. Who um, um, looks a bit more like a striker. Actually, he looks kind of camish as well. I don't know. Whatever. We'll leave it just now, anyway. We've got our main man already, and we've only just started the episode. It is... Uh, oh, I actually have to remember his first name. And we'll also put him on the development plan immediately. Keep that growth going. We'll have to learn his first name. It is a new man, and it's Albert Gomez. So it's not difficult to, f to remember, to be honest. Albert, or Albert, I don't know. We're putting him into the development plan. And he will be working on his def he's a ha sorry he's got a high attacking work rate and medium defensive work rate despite being a center back. Now we want to work on his medium. So what we're going to do is we'll do this one. It makes him a bit faster. Works as defending. The reactions are good. Passing gets a bit better. Strength gets even stronger. He could be a tank at the back. But it also works on his defensive work rate, which is what we want. Eight weeks. Obviously, he will be the starting centre-back from here on out. I don't know when till. It depends on his growth. He could be the centre-back till the end of the series. But uh, we'll see on that one. But what we're going to do before we like bore people... In fact, actually, I want to see my first game of the season is. Who do we take on first this season in the League 1? Well, League 2, sorry. God, I'm getting ahead of myself. We kick off against Rochdale. All right. I'm hoping we can get into League One this year. That's the goal. Um, at the end of last season, we had some really good results towards the end. That's not Frank Ribery, is it? That's got. I think that's actually Frank Ribery. We're gonna have to obviously switch up Nikolai Allo. He's away uh, on international duty, and I do need to take uh, take a look at the World Cup. Are Finland still in the World Cup? Fair play, Nikolai Allo, if his country still are. He'll only last here in our season. There's a couple of players here who will be around for another season. No, I know that. I'm putting Arlo Bourne. I know. I'm trying to put... Oh, do I have to go all the way back out to the main bit? I'm aware that Nikolai Arlo can't be played. That's why I'm putting him in the reserves. But I guess I have to do it here rather than... In the actual other menu, right? Yeah, okay, fair. That's fine then. I hope... If I'd actually... Should we... I don't know if there'll be a lot, any update on the World Cup. There is one more thing that actually reminds me. Now I've got back on this menu, I do need to do one more thing. Uh, it is our people to transfer a list, but before we do that, let's take a look. Let's see how the World Cup's getting on. I know not everyone is going to be... Um, caring about this, but I'm I'm wanting to look. I wanna see. Where is it? World Cup. FIFA World Cup. We're at the round of sixteen stage. Belgium, Mexico, Portugal, Ukraine, Italy, France, Czech Republic, Brazil. England, Spain. England are out. Oh, we're going another four years without it. Uh Argentina, Poland, Netherlands, Iceland. 
Uh, Denmark and China. What were the groups looking like then? Belgium and Spain went through their group. England, England and Mexico went through their group. Nikolai should be back then. Finland are out. Well, whatever. Portugal and Poland go through their group. Argentina and Ukraine go through their group. Sweden knocked out. Interesting. Italy and Iceland go through their group. And in fact, Italy struggled. They drew to Iceland. They drew to Canada. They battered Austria, to be fair. Um, Netherlands and France for Group F. Czech Republic and China. Germany are out. And Hungary. Hungary are a little less surprising. But Germany have lost in that group. They drew to China, drew to Hungary, and then lost to the Czech Republic. Fair enough. Denmark and Brazil through that group, but Brazil nearly out on goal difference to Ireland. Interesting World Cup going on. We'll keep an eye, uh, keep an eye on that. Most likely be done by the end of it. By the end of this episode, I should say. I don't know what's going on with my phone. Give me a second. Bear with me. I apologise. Right, let's get into it. Let's not waste any more time. Oh, transfer list. Let's waste a bit more time. Let's see how we're looking then, just quickly. It's going to be by age, obviously, because I want to get some of the oldies out. Finley Lucas, he's going to go in at the end of the season, regardless, I think, I'd say. Arlo Bourne, probably the same. Callum Lees will stay to the end of the season. Taylor Rowland can get gone. Nikolai Allo can stick around. Uh, Fur, I could probably get a better centre mid, so he can be added to the list for now. Nathan Parker, ugh, it's not looking great for him, I'll be honest. Ronan Brady, yeah, no, I'm sorry, lad. You've been a good servant for the first season, but if a good offer comes in, I won't be turning it down. Josh Guest, same with you, I think. Actually, you're our only backup striker that's any good, so we'll actually keep you for now. Uh, Adam Kemp, bye-bye. Um, Neon Saba, sorry, lad. Uh, Dalton Wilkins, obviously, staying. Marius Marin, obviously, staying. Elliot Harper, see you, bye. We're getting rid of most of the original squad from this club because they were shocking Amaral can have a little bit more time I know he won't grow by much more but dynamic potential may take him to a different level you never know uh, Gallagher's gone Milosevic we haven't given him a chance yet but we'll give him a little go Saunders for the loan list again I think uh, Dorovic is a backup for now unless I change my mind in case Lyska just decides to have an awful preseason, then we'll maybe move him out I don't know we'll see uh, Alan Kane, I'm going to give him a chance. Dragolin Kovacic, we're going to give him a chance. Illich, he's going to get loan listed. I can't decide, is it Dragolin or Dragotin? It's Dragotin, sorry, I'm going to have to get that right. I'll get it eventually. Kovacic has gone out, and Nikolic could go out as well. So I think we've got four goalkeepers, actually. Yeah. So we've got plenty of people to go out. But right, now, sorry about this. We will be going into the game now. I've been wasting a lot of time. We're 23 minutes in. I'm sorry it's kind of all been covered. If we do get through to the next round, I will leave it till next episode to finish the tournament off. If we don't, I'm expecting it and we'll sim up to the start of the season. But you never know. All right. So we've got Lishka in goal. Wilkins and Bourne as the fullbacks. Bourne in there because Alo, of course, away on international duty. Parker and Gomez. I uh, don't know how long that partnership's going to last. We may try and find another centre-back. And Parker may be on his way out. I was, look I was looking at either Gay or Brennan, I think his name was. One of them coming in to shore up the back line. We've got uh, Lucas in a CDM role. Lisa Marin, centre-mids. Jay Mason, centre-attacking mid, of course. He's going to be here for as long as I can keep him. And uh, Laurel Tanzio and Jane Coates will be... Oh, my God. Voice crack will be up front. 3-4-1-2 from Salernitana. And I actually backed out and came back in. Ribéry was there the first time around, but he's not there this time. So the game has absolutely no idea who's going to be starting, pretty much. But anyway, we're at the San Siro. It's a massive stadium for us. Let's get into it. So just for the record, if you aren't already aware, I don't know how you haven't figured it out. We will be playing in Italy for this uh, preseason. Game loading. 
Gonna open my unsponsored, unofficially sponsored drink of uh, Iron Brew Extra. How is it a debut to remember? He just had a season where he got the most goals and assists combined. Hello everyone. Well, our venue today is a true football monument. I'm talking, of course, about. The I can't believe it. Small club like us, playing in San Siro. I just remember we don't actually walk out. We go straight to the game in pre-season. No, I wouldn't usually play pre-season. Whoa. Why is my voice messing up? I wouldn't usually play pre-season. Immediately defensive. I should remember that as well. But um, we, I want to play it just to kind of get a grasp of these. Well, eventually be more new players, hopefully. But initially, Albert Gomez. I'm hoping he'll be a good sign. I put, I put a lot of money into him. And a lot of risk. I think he's one of the highest paid, the highest paid players at the club now, if not the. But uh, Parker, a bit, uh, brilliant block there. Like I said, don't expect, yeah, don't expect us to get out of this group. There are, there are very good sides to come up against. Salernitana. They did finish bottom of the Serie A last season in game, but of course. They're in the Serie A. Well, Serie B now, but Serie A. Well, here it is again. He as well so as sweetly, That's a the... Um, a who else was it in our group? There was another team in our group. Empoli, I think it was. So I'm not I'm not really... I won't wish you get to make some saves just to justify himself. But I'm not expecting any clean sheets or any heroics. I just want to see how his saving ability will be. Karaka so puts Salernitana 1-0 up, and Stanley this is why I'm not worried, because it's it's just try to find the parts that put this, uh, this puzzle together, and obviously if we get the wrong parts, then it'll go wrong, Mason. obviously. At the end of the last season, we started going defensive, stripping you off, and it went really well for those last three games that we played. Now what I'm going to try and do is we try and do that. Coates, that's a brilliant save from the Salernitana goalkeeper. I'm going to try and do that and use that strategy, I think, for the majority of the season. And with better defenders, it would work well. And Gomez is in the way for that one. Mason's getting a load of hype here, and he's already played a season in our colours. I don't understand that. This is like a glitch or something. But yeah, again, not expecting anything. If you guys are expecting anything out of me in these preseason games, you're crazy. <laughs> We're, uh, we're in the bottom league of English football. We just finished 17th in our first season, just trying to get used to the league uh, itself. And to these teams, granted, I think both of them relegated actually from Syria. But um, at least we know Salernitana relegated from Syria. And Polly, I don't remember. But pretty much, we're against top teams from Italy. Our team's in the top league anyway from Italy. I forgot about that crunching tackle, honestly. That was a yellow. But it wasn't a great tackle. It could have possibly been running red. So I think wasn't cynical enough, really. And then we've got Strom's God set, who I've not really placed a lot of like, importance on. Because it is a Norwegian okay. league, don't get me wrong. But they did win it. So they're probably going to be Born. decent, too. And scope for them to produce something exciting. I don't really know which more well, prestigious, the Norwegian the League or maybe even League, League One Championship. I know is more prestigious. Can we get a ball in? I need someone taller than Latanzio, I think. If I want to cross it in, I'm going to need someone a bit taller. I don't mind the pace, guys, but I need someone with a bit more height. Jin Coates. Oh, it's blocked. And I'll call him Jordan Coates then. I don't even know who that is. There are definitely still areas very much we could improve upon, and we are just at the start of a transfer window. So I will be looking at a lot of free agents of different positions. Albert Gomez with a very good... I don't want to call him Albert or Albert. A uh, very good inception from him regardless, whatever his name is. Jane Coates won't get there, I don't think. No, I'm lucky. Worth a push, though. I'm just trying to find what needs changing and what we can do to change it. I've already immediately signed a centre-back, and I knew centre-back was what we needed, and I didn't fuck around with it. I'm still debating on signing our centre-back, and in fact, I probably... W Give me a second, guys. I'm going to have to scream. But anyway, I'm still debating on signing our centre-back. 
Well, and I probably end up will signing another centre back, whether it be Brennan or whether it be uh, Gay. I don't know. Schiavone. Either way, hopefully it will help our defensive efforts this season. That's that's not stoppable. It just isn't stoppable. Even with a world class goalkeeper, that isn't stoppable. Roman Lischka is. I'm not sure about him. If he's got a good defence in front of him, maybe his goalkeeping won't matter, but I need consistency from him if he is going to stay as number one. And I'm... I'm going to give him to... I think I'm going to give it a bit more of a think. But my main idea is give him till January. And if we've conceded a stupid amount again, despite having a decent defence, we'll get him gone. And we'll bring someone better in, like, off the free agents list, perhaps. Or maybe even someone we, we know in real life. I don't know. I've aimed that for Mason. So, the, the state of FIFA 22, you've seen it all over YouTube. You've seen it all over the place. This actual console. But uh, there's been a lot more complaints about it recently with the recent patch. I don't know who that's even aimed for, to be honest. So, realistically, I don't even know why I passed that. But again, yeah. There's been a lot of controversy over it. The latest patch, I don't know what EA have done but it just feels a lot harder a lot more scripted and I've I'm not just saying that because I've seen other people say it. I've been playing my Man United career mode off screen and it just feels a lot harder than it did a couple of weeks ago Gomez. Wilkins. and I'm playing that on world class as well I could probably bump that one up to legendary but oh Wilkins man I'm trying to I've not actually released it yet but I was trying to find someone to release it to and it just doesn't seem to be really any options Parker Coming across. Yeah, we are going to lose this 100%. In fact, we're going to lose all of these. Strom's God set might be the one we can get something out of, but we ain't getting through this group. Is that a save or it's just a bad shot? I mean, it wasn't a bad shot, but it wasn't in, so. Classing it as a bad shot. That'd be a goal kick for Roman Lischka. Here at the side of the zero. Some of the. Uh, there might be uh, pressure against these players, honestly. Not really the occasion, more the environment, more the atmosphere might be getting to these Collingwood players. Salah and Tana played here at least twice last season in the Lucas. league. But Please. this is the first time probably any of them have been to the San Siro. Right and it's probably a big, way. it's a big no stage. And whether we get anything out of any of these games, whether we don't, we've played at the San Siro, we can say that. It might come down to playing here again in other preseason tournaments, or maybe towards the end of the career mode when we're in Champions League, if we play against AC or Inter Milan. Well, this is a big place to start your preseason off in. I know it's not a big occasion because it's preseason, but. Still, you wanna, you wanna tell your family, you wanna tell your friends, you scored in the San Siro. The majority of these players won't get no chance to. The majority of these players, I didn't pass it there, I passed it to Lee's. Majority of these players won't get another step into this building unless they're coming here as a fan. It's an awful shot, but the Salernitana faithful are in comfortable position right now, 2-0 well up against us. I'd like to say we can bring this back, but I'm honestly not expecting it, I'm honestly not, honestly not believing it. The fact of the matter is, we're still performing decent. There's a couple of wrong passes and they've got good players. I've tried to get out to Arlo Bourne. It has come to Arlo Bourne. Get it back into Latanzio. It's actually got to Jin Coates. Okay. That was a brilliant assist as well. Can we give that to Arlo Bourne there? Full credit. That was just a wide pass. Arlo Bourne has just put that in with power with just a wide pass. And Jaden well, Coates reacting fast. Low, just I don't know how much longer and he'll be there, here he for. Like but you can goal. say he scored in the San Siro. It's a good it's a good shot from that kind of situation. 
The keeper obviously should be doing better, but I'm not going to complain. We've got a goal back here against Salernitana. And it could occur that we get a point or maybe even three out of this. I don't know. But we shall see. Caraca and Detaccio getting the goals for the away side who are technically at home because they're in Italy, but whatever. Uh, we got one back just there at the end of the half for Jane Coates. Whether it was deserved or not, we got it. And uh, it's not just Norwegian and Italian clubs in this tournament. We've got Livingston as well coming in. <laughs> Take a look at halftime stats. They're probably in control and they very much are. 57 to 43 in terms of possession, 7 shots to 3, and 2.1 expected goals to the 1.4. So the result makes sense, really, when you round the numbers. Um, we've been tackling well, personally. Defending, the tackling's been good. But uh, I just don't know if it's going to be Parker who starts alongside Gomez, or if we bring another man in. We shall see, but... We kick off the second half, and I think we're probably just going to give a couple of younger players a chance as well off the bench. I want to get a result here, but this is mainly just to test what we've got, what we're working with. Latanzio could play through to Coates. Not a great position here for our striker. And then again, he might make something. It's straight out for Rio. Or Fio Rio. And it's not going to be an equaliser just yet. But you never know. Laurel Tanzio. Jay Mason. Over the top. Oh, I should have done it over. Maybe I shouldn't have done it over the top. I don't know. There was a defender there. Or maybe I should have shot it, honestly. But I wasn't sure. I didn't really want to take it with Mason on his weak foot. I know his weak foot's not awful. But I just didn't want to miss with him. To be honest. Arlo Bourne. Making a case to become the number one right back at the moment. Arlo Bourne's had a very good game. Assisted the goal for Jaden Coates. But not only that, he's put some good defensive tackles. The whole back four, I've not really got any complaints about. Wilkins hasn't had to do as much as some. Is that Frank Ribery coming on? That is. Obviously, I know he's past his prime now. But we are playing against Frank Ribery. In the San Siro. Parker. This career mode has taken a bit of a turn here. Please. <laughs> That's the dream, realistically, isn't it? Jay Mason. Marius Marin. Is that a penalty? Oh, it's, a penalty. It, it's got to be. That's it. He caught my leg. And it is. Well, he's avoided a booking, but the Marius Marin and I can understand why. has the chance here to equalise against Salernitana. And we have a chance to beat a team, or get a point at a moment, obviously, but maybe down the line beat a team that's featured Frank Ribery. Ah, oh, oh, the pressure got to him. I tried to drag it to the right there, but the the guy the circle had already locked into the center and the goalkeeper was aware of it i did try and move it but it's just all you can do really and parker is about to get skinned here by ribbery frank ribbery man i just i can't believe he's on the pitch against collingworth fc in only our second season realistically that would be a lot higher achievement if it was about 10 years ago but don't get me wrong it's still quite mad albert gomez jay mason now I don't know what his touches are that he's making. I'm trying to get Lucas. the pass off to someone. Finley Lucas, Please. Callum Lees. And as much as I do want to... Oh, Give fuck off, man. As much as I do want to sub people on, I also want to see if we can get anything. If it goes 3-1, then yeah, so I'll, I'll make some be. subs. But if we can keep it 2-1 and maybe get an equaliser, um, we actually do have to play the rest of the pre-season games. I have to remember that as well. And uh, squad rotation for some of them as well. That's a brilliant block by, I believe it was Finley Lucas. 100% on that one. Loyal Tanjo could make the run, but he's not going to. Okay, I was, well, I was making that pass in the hope that either of my strikers would make the run. Neither of them have. Uh, we'll bring on Luca Bailey. Arla Bond's had a good game, but I want Luca Bailey to get some experience. Vuksic as well for Parker. And we will bring on... 
Amaral for Mason. It's still looking a bit threadbare in terms of centre mids, like like Lees and Marin doing some backup. So we'll try and find some uh, centre mids. Obviously, we'll look in our youth academy as well, see if there's anyone we can promote. But some of the free agents are so broken. Honestly, if I... I mean, I could just sign a load of free agents and make that team and just send them to the top. I don't want to go overboard on it, realistically. Coates. Coates. Laura Latanzio, going to play out to Callum Lees here. Could get back across to Laura Latanzio. It's up in the air, which I know I intended, but I intended it to be a little bit faster. And it would land on its feet. Lucas has been tackled. Wilkins is going to get the ball. Lucas, Coates, turn, shoot. Jaden Coates has scored twice in the San Siro. Don't well, you know it? We look. could be on He's for a got point. Such quick feet, hasn't he? It's a great turn and shot. What a good goal that is. So making the substitution now. We have made our subs. I don't know if Salernitana have made any subs. We've paid attention. Obviously, we can make more than three. I think we only made two, actually, but we can make more than three. Into the final 20 minutes. Well, I, I think actually we made three. We did make three. What am I on about? Bailey, Vuksic, and I believe it was Amaral all coming on. For Jay Mason. Nathan Parker and Arnold Bourne and Salernitana not far off there. Obviously not close enough. We'll make a couple more. Just because I remembered that we can actually. I'll make a couple more. See who else we can bring on. Fur Could come from Marion and then Guess can come on. Saunders. I don't even know where you're on the bench, lad. I should maybe switch you. Guess for Coates. Dordovic ain't coming on. And Saunders ain't coming on. Sorry, lads. That's the beauty of playing in the preseason. more chance to try out more players and obviously we'll we will be doing that for the future games as well just this game I wanted to try out my best team and it might get us a point part of me doesn't really want to make it through to be honest but really if we did it'd be quite press. interesting oh that's an awful touch that's from it's not, that's not me throwing I just did an awful touch Gomez oh dear oh dear not only is he out of position but he's probably going to get booked Luca Bailey, very good cover from Luca Bailey. It's still on for Salernitana, probably will go in the net here. I don't understand how it's gone in the net, truth be told. I thought Lishka had it covered at his near post, but I just knew as soon as I defended it, it wouldn't matter because defending doesn't matter, let me tell you right now. If you think you're defending, no. Well, here's the replay, and you see it was a good finish. But the, the game keeper, will tell you that you're not, and that's because that's all that because I brought Albert Gomez up position, and that prompted Luca Bailey to get position. I don't understand goalkeepers. I don't quite get them. Obi has made it three two to Salernitana, but that is more or less. Straight at my goalkeeper. Albert Gomez does have a yellow as well. It's just quite interesting how... Like, it's right at my keeper. Calmly's better not be injured. Right, good. Straight at my goalkeeper, but somehow he manages to avoid it. It's weird. Goalkeepers were overpowered at the start of the game, and now they are just they just feel like shit again, like they did in FIFA 21. Amaral. Latanzio. Josh Guest gets cut off by Costiello, who... Maybe you could argue he shouldn't be on the pitch just himself, but he is. And honestly, it wasn't a red, but I just want to get angry at him. He accepted that Promising and accepted possibly my chances of an equaliser. Again, I don't Let's expect anything finish. out of this match, which is fine because Here nobody is marking Joe Lobby at the back post. It is offside, well, but nobody's was marking him for whatever reason. Offside. It was a good finish, though. Well, what's the point? Like, Wilkins for Saw. Oh, yeah, let me just do that one. 
my centre forward at left back. Unless you try to tell me he needs to be a left back, that's fucking awful from Michigan. That's fucking awful from me, to be honest. I can't foul him. Ribery's missed that. It's, I know it's Ribery, the crusty, nearly 40 year old man, but it's still Ribery. Latanzio, well, it's not Latanzio, it's Amaral. Amaral for the equaliser. That's awful, man. That's not even where I've aimed it. <laughs> Well, you're absolutely right, Derek. The keeper's done really well there, but really that should have been the equaliser. And it would have been good if now. it had gone to the right-hand corner well, where I aimed it, but of course, but you have FIFA 21 say, does what, what it wants, and was. I can't control that. Look at Bailey. Can he keep that in? He can, but also pass. he won't keep possession. There you a go. Vucic goes to tackle. I don't know what happened to this Lernitana player there, but Ferrer has got a bit of a, a getaway here now. Lola Tanzio in for Amaral for the hat trick. Not for the hat trick, for the equalizer. What am I on about for the hat trick? It's well, caught for the two, and I've not done anything with Lee. He's kind of done that of his own volition. What am I on about for the hat trick? Coates got both the goals before he was subbed off. I know I'm an equalizer, but my brain didn't quite function. And I think it's going to be an L in our first pre-season game. But we've given it a fight. We've given it a really good fight. Ribery. For Gomez, it was almost literal giving it a fight. He's not been bad at all. The yellow card, obviously, is stupid. But beyond that, yeah, drag it to the corner, mate. Will Keynes is going to win the header, of course. I just knew. I felt that coming. I felt that because it's after injury time. And because Wilkins was in front of the guy, he obviously wasn't going to win the header. It makes a lot of sense, really, when you think about it. And the game didn't want to have a celebration. Didn't want to really look at it for too long, obviously. It's shown replays. We didn't really want to look at it that quickly because it knew it was scripted. So we have lost 4-2 in the first game here of the preseason against Salernitana. I'm not too mad because I expected it. There's some good goals. There's some good play from us, to be honest. Gomez looks good. Obviously, the bad tackle aside, he looks very good. Parker looks strong, despite the fact that we're probably going to be moving him on, or at least dropping him to the bench, depending on if we're bringing a new centre-back. Arlo Bourne had a very good game. Jaden Coates, striking form. Granted, didn't get us anything in the end. But Jaden Coates, I was thinking of selling him. Maybe we could go with strike force in our season. And perhaps get our striker season three. We're going to need to make a lot of upgrades for League One anyway. So maybe think about it like that. Let's take a look at stats. 12 shots to 9, not too shabby, Five, uh, 55 to 45 in terms of possession. The expected goals are equal, although somehow we've got the edge on it. So we did give it our, we did give it a go. But of course it is um, a League 2 side against a Serie A, now Serie B side. If, is Serie, I don't even know if Serie B is in the game actually, it could still technically be a Serie A side. Couldn't find it when we were doing the results last episode. Man of the match for us, you can't really name anyone else. Jane Coates getting two goals in the San Siro against Syria opposition. Can't argue with that. Finley Lucas with an assist from CDM and a 6.9. Arlo Bourne with the other assist from right back, 6.8. He was very good today. Some of these ratings are a little, little under what they should be, in my opinion. The defence really performed well. Parker was strong, Vuksic was strong when he came on, but Gomez was very good, and I think if we just get, I, I don't know what it is with my goalkeeper, I think it's probably just all goalkeepers, if we get a goalkeeper that can save stuff, I'm hoping Lishka can be that goalkeeper, but if not, then if we get a goalkeeper that can save stuff, the defence is probably quite well shored up, we'll still concede, don't get me wrong, but we'll probably score more than we concede this season. Goal and an assist for Andrea Schiavone sees him be the man of the match for Salernitana. Goal and assist, like I said, sorry. 7.8, my brain is not on. Obi from left mid got a goal and an assist. Um, Karaka getting the goal and a 7.5. Koulibaly getting an assist and 7.2. Uh, Detaccio getting the goal and a 7.0. And then Gondo coming on to make an assist. So you can see, you can really see the ratings difference, right? So we put up a good fight. 69, 72, 73, 74. 
They're 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 probably championship quality, realistically. Frank Ribery 78. And it is Frank Ribery. But at the end of the day, they're probably a high or maybe low championship, high league one quality. So I think we put up a very good fight. That being said, I did expect to lose. So we've got a couple of messages in here from the boys. We've got Coates getting a transfer offer. Now it's a difficult one because he has just done very well. And I genuinely think I could get another season out of him. But it's a good offer for someone his rating and his age. 28 years of age, 64 overall. Tell you what. You counter... No, 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 no. You counter for 850. And you can have him. Obviously, I, I saw that I put the thing to 740 at the bottom. If it's not quite 850, I can accept 800, I think. I don't really want to sell him if I have to, but we've got the money to replace him. Elia Harper, glad he's put up for sale. Hicks, glad I put him up for sale. To be honest, he could have been good, but his loan spell didn't really pay off. Dragati and Illich could still be good. Just looking at options. Nikolic is happy to go out on loan. I'm just picking the top one for each one, to be honest. And uh, Jensen Saunders, so he's going to get another loan out. I want to give him, I want to give him time. I want him to be good. But obviously, I think he'll just be loan spell after loan spell before finally offloading him. We're doing a Chelsea on him, really, at the end of the day. Anything else? Coates sales agreement. They're here. They're prepared to pay 770. You know what? That's not what I wanted. <laughs> now, we will go into negotiations. If they don't want to pay 850k flat, we will be declining. I know it's a bit of an asshole manoeuvre, but Coates is playing good for us. And he's been... He was good that last game. So we'll say 850. If you want to accept, if you break it down at all, you do anything to change that, he won't be going. That being said. <laughs> uh, I'm going to get back to him on it. So I'm not sure. I'm going to play the next game. And we'll see. Because as much as I do want Coates to stay, it's a very good offer. It's difficult. It's not an easy offer to entertain. Have we got Nikolai Alo back yet? I've clicked the wrong button. I've clicked, I'm not even on the right page. I want to look at the squad hub. Nikolai isn't back, actually, so it'd be a good run out. But Dragatin Kovacic, uh, with Arlo Bourne on the bench, I can't drop Bourne completely. He's been very good. I had, he was good that last game, anyway. Now, Leishka, do I swap him for Dordovic? The answer is yes. Don't get me wrong, Leishka will probably still be the number one, but I just want to see how Dordovic can do this is a perfect, perfect opportunity to see how they'll, like, compete against each other, realistically. We're also going to whack in Amaral. No, we're not. I lied. <sighs> do I do it? I think I'm going to. I think I'm going to give him a go. I'm not dropping Jaden Coates. This is his proven game. If you can have another good game here, I'm going to decline what they've said. If have a bad game, I'll accept. So this is really Jaden Coates' proving ground. He just proved he can score last game, but I still don't want to like sell him unless I absolutely have to. Did I, did I ever put a CDM game plan or a development plan on Finley Lucas? I don't remember what we're in here for to check that Finley Lucas I don't think it will no 
No, 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 no. No, you can't do this to me. All right? No. So, <laughs> that's not what I expected when I was going to go do this development plan. Our captain will be retiring at the end of the season. Well, in that case, I'm not selling him. I was considering it. But no. And CDM will take forever, yeah. No, we'll just leave him as he is. We'll have to get a proper CDM, I think. <laughs> but nah, man. My... My captain's retiring. Is he the oldest in the squad now after letting go of all the other dead wood? Oh, it doesn't it doesn't stay. But what yeah you can't no, you can't retire at the end of the season, you're not allowed. No, I'm I'm declining it. How can Amaral have been at the club since twenty nineteen when we started in twenty twenty then? In fact, we actually started in 2021, didn't we? I'm on I'm on some drugs or something. <laughs> How's Amaral been here two years before we even created the club then? <laughs> Anyone else retiring? Anyone else want to drop a bombshell on my fucking face? I doubt it. Because uh, Lucas is the older. Ah, bruv. Nah, that's put me off a little bit. Made me a little bit upset. What I'm going to do is we are just going to have a little gander quickly. That's the wrong bloody... Once I learn... But it'd be so good when I actually learn the menus. I've been playing this game for years and I still don't know which menu's which. You're going to be looking for just an out-and-out -out CDM. Because... Uh, I don't want to replace Lucas, but I do want someone to be there to replace him when I need him to be replaced. And Raphael Alexandre is a good start. But I can't... Can't scout him. Because the staff's busy. How do I unscout people? Scout instructions. Scouts. Yeah, oh, oh wow, I've not even done this. Okay, cool. Um, manage scout. No, I don't... No, 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 no. I just want to see how I can see the scout people. How... You know how I put a load of setbacks on to be scouted? Oh, here we go. Right. Ruben Castillo... His first team quality? Rebal, Weiss. This is the man that we're probably going to get if we do get an R1. Did I scout all these? Uh, no, I didn't. Bjork. Okay, he's not good enough anyway, so... And scouting on him. Bro, I'm, I'm, I'm devastated personally. The fact that Finley Lucas... Father that Finley Lucas is just uh, thinking he's allowed to retire. He's just going to leave this club. Now, if this was PC, I could make him a coach, but obviously it ain't, so he's going to be Gonzo. I've just forgotten. I've just... Oh, oh, my brain is not on. It was Raphael Alexandre, I believe his name was, but I guess I just didn't want to fucking look at him again. The main reason that we stopped to scout one guy is to scout this guy. And it could be a while before we get the results on him. But obviously, if we don't get through the preseason, we could maybe get our signings done before the actual season. Which is what we're looking for. But I don't, I'm not dropping... Uh, I might have to drop Lucas if this other guy's better, but I don't really want to. Obviously, I'll switch him. And in fact, maybe we'll just have Finley Lucas in the centre mid role. And we'll have to drop either Lees or Marin. But I don't want to drop them. Marin's grown up on overall. It's so difficult, man. I'm getting attached to these players already and we're only seasoning a bit in. Anyway, we'll just forget about that for now. We're going on to Strom's God set, the Norwegian team. And not only that, we will be determining whether we're going to sell Jaden Coates or not after this game. We're giving Kovacic to run out and we're going to actually put Bourne on the left. He's got slightly more stamina than Wilkins. Any other changes I want to make? I did put Alan Kane up top. I actually did this in the main squad hub and I need to change that back. Milosevic, I want to start, but you're a right mid, lad. Come on. Learn a position that we actually have. Um, Anyone else? No one really else. The majority of people down here are either going on loan or going completely, hopefully. That's the aim. Uh, heck, it will bring on... We'll give Farah a run out. 
This is the only team I have kind of some confidence in getting a result against, to be honest. Whether we do um, or not, we'll see. But I genuinely just think it will be loss, loss, loss. We're at the San Siro again. So it'll be another proving ground for some of these players. Myra and go for them. I don't know why I'm reading their team. Sorry, my brain. I, I'm really tired, honestly. I've not been well the past couple of days. So Use, use my brain, please. Come on. There we go. I think it's switched on now. 4 3 3 attack for them anyway. 4 1 2 1 2 narrow, the usual for us. Dordovic and go. Born and Kovacic as the full backs. Vuksic and Gomez as the centre backs. Lucas, CDM. Furr and Marin, the centre mid. Jay Mason, centre attacking mid. Kane and Coates up front. Not only is this a proving game for Jaden Coates, this is a proving game for Alan Kane as well in determining whether I will loan him out or keep him here. He's actually grown quite well since I brought him up. But I still don't know on him. I still am not sure. I'm still unsure about that man right there. Bradford City are playing just now. What, what competition are they playing in? Oh, the FA Cup. Against Exeter in the first round replay. Go on, Bradford. Win that. I can't support him in this career mode, obviously, because I'm the rivals, the local rivals of Bradford City, but I can support him in real life. I, I think Alan Kane's changed his shirt number. And in fact, I'll have to do the shirt numbers, the updated shirt numbers, before the season starts. So that reminds me of that. Kovacic has been sliced. Ref. That's going to be a yellow. He sliced and diced me. Just a warning. Fair enough. I mean, it's early. But, like, he needs to watch out, bro. Kovacic, come to his house. He's just letting everybody know who's in charge here. He's almost slid through the middle of me, to be honest. So, as usual, this will be the... This will be uploaded the day after it's been recorded. I don't know how many games per episode I'm going to do now. I only did four games per episode for a few episodes there because I want to get the season wrapped up. But whether that stays or whether that changes, a different matter. Furrow into Alan Kane! Oh, he's hit the post! Are you kidding me? Imagine! That would have been such a good start for him and for us. Well, they won't come close to that. So unlucky not That's to something defensive. Hold on. Uh, let me just hit shot from Coates. I'll lose the ball with Coates. Defensive. Come on, wake up. Like I said, I've not been well the past few days. I was actually off work yesterday, but I was back today. But I should be alright. I just need to use my brain. Oh, no. I mean, it went through too easily, which is a problem. But because they can't finish their dinner, we've been let off there. Both putting it wide, or was that how? I couldn't tell if it was a V or a W. Dorovic to Gomez. Kovacic, you better Andrew get there, lad. Oh my god, he almost nearly didn't. Are you joking me, bruv? Well, Marin. Jaden Coates, player to watch, apparently. I mean, not only for his exploits last game, but because he could be on his way out. Lucas turns his man. It's not through to where I want it to. Now, Lucas is out of position, which is problematic. In fact, it's not just Lucas that's out of position. There's a lot of men here that aren't where they should be. And now Albert Gomez is one of them. I've had to commit him because we've got no Arlo Bourne for whatever reason. Arlo Bourne is there. And Gomez should get back in time. That's partly my fault for committing Gomez again. But I'm not taking the blame for it. I'm not. You'll well, see why. I mean, if you didn't see why initially, you can watch my goalkeeper. It is physically, and he's let that there, in. But really poor defending. I'm not too annoyed because it is pre-season. But if that costs us a game in the league, or it costs us a game in the cup that I care about, then you can fuck off. So I can't have Bordovich doing those kind of errors, man. 
we may have to get a goalkeeper in. Avlish could be the backup. Have Dordovic be out the club, maybe. I don't know. Dordovic looked so promising when he started as well, but so did Kovacevic, who's now out and low. So it's just a matter of you have to have good performances or you don't get to stick around, to be honest, I'm afraid. Weather is awful again, so if you see any lag or feel any lag, then that will be that. I should have probably said that at the start. Maybe I did. I'm just reiterating it, I guess, if I've said it already. And just because I said I had the best chance of winning against these guys doesn't mean I'm going to. Gomez with the winning header. He is six foot six. I'm expecting to win most headers that he's involved in. Deary puts it off target. We get away with it. Could they come to regret that? Goal kick. I'm not really feeling too confident. I did put out a couple of players that wouldn't initially like wouldn't really No, like this guy can piss off, man. He's just going for the back of Kovacic every time, and it's not fair. <laughs> Marius Marin. Towards Jin Coates, it's just over his head. Narlo Bonds not going to get there, is he? Is he? Right, you know. Oh, that's a very good tackle. You're going to book him now? Thank you. What a stupid man. Keeps going back through the back of Kovacic. And the referee's a stupid man for not booking him earlier. Arlo Bourne. I probably shouldn't have played up to quotes, actually. But it's come to fur. And, and I've just done an awful touch with him. Because, to be fair, he's one of the clunkiest here. midfielders I've played with in my life. But that's still not great for me. Kovacic. Gets away from Gullikson. I'm surprised he didn't go for another slide for the back of me. Marius Marin. Not really got the space, man. I didn't really create space well for myself. But I didn't have it anyway. Filsvik. Filsvik. Oh, that's a oh. oh great ball to be way. fair I'm sure be. Gomez has got us covered first of all I'm not 100% sure if that was Gomez second of all if that was Gomez I might be selling him as soon as I bought him because that was such a stupid bit of defence I've tried to contain him, but he just buggered off him. I really hope that's not Gomez. And I think, based off his height, and based off his number 15, it is. Dorovic, 100%, should be doing better. It's a good finish, but goalkeeper maybe should be trying a bit harder. But that's on me. That one's on me. I can accept that one, because I tried to defend with Gomez, and it didn't contain for whatever reason. We're 2 0 down. And I want to just put that referee, send him off now. He's been a little knob, man. He's had three just stupid challenges on Kovacic. And he's finally got what he's deserved. I've never met a more annoying player. And he's not even real. And I don't even know him. And I'll never know him. I've never heard of him. But he's a knob. Kovacic somehow wasn't injured for one of those three tackles, which is surprising. Mason tried to touch, cut it inside, but didn't work. But we've got a little bit of maybe something in this game now. Now that we've had a red card, they've had a red card. I hope we have enough quality to maybe bring it back, but I, I don't know, honestly. These are the Nor uh, Norwegian League winners. Be aware of that. Now, what can they do from here? Oxstad, bring it down the side. They're probably going to just play it in and score, aren't they? Gomez, mate, you've got to get across. Of course you don't. Arlo Bourne. It's not Arlo Bourne because Bourne's a left back. Kovacic. Got a save from Dordovic. It's not easy blocking in this game. Marin tried to get it away. I think he did touch it with his hand, but the game got played on. And. Save from Dordovic in the end. Not a bad save either. The shot was travelling. Stengel with the corner now. For Strom's God set. Marin is headed away to Jane Coates. Well, and now Jay Mason. Now. Possibly one of the Thank men you would pace. want on your counter attack. Then again, if he's well, running like an idiot and the Norwegian defender's not pacing him. I'm not sure if it's a Norwegian defender. 
the Norwegian team's defender is up pacing him. I'm very happy about it. Thomas Grugord. How about the cross? This is uh, not wonderful the defensive display, to be honest with you. Gomez hasn't been lighting the world well, up in this match. He was very good last match. But he's been rubbish so far this one. Jay Mason's out of the game of it either, man. But the red card does help us. We've got no stupid prat. I forgot his name already. Hacking at my legs. It was like Gullickson or something. Or Gullickson. I'll check it out time. Brav, Gomez, man. You're meant to be the light to my dark right now with these like sort of defensive challenges as well as your passing. Your passing came quite highly recommended for a centre back to be honest. Obviously, it needs a bit of work as like it would do with a centre back. But come on, my guy. Will he play it in? We'll pass it like an idiot. Our LeBron blocks it. Of course, I don't get away with it, and that's probably going to be a goal in it. Oh, incredible save! And he's I'm not sure. Gomez is losing most of his headers. Despite being 6'6. Six, six. Now, I'm not a mathematician. But my player is probably taller than the player that is challenging him. Again, I'm not a mathematician. I don't know their height. Maybe they are the same size. I just thought, no, but... I just feel like 6'6 six, six should be winning the majority of headers, realistically, shouldn't they? Okay, so Jay Mason just suddenly... Yeah, that's cool. My favourite part, by the way, is when they suddenly stop their runs and you've made the play as if it was going to continue based on their runs. It's wonderful. 2-0 down at half-time. I think we were the same against Salernitana. We nearly brought it back, but then they added more misery on us. Kadiri and Hove with the goals, and we actually were 2-1 down last game. Cool, has got a late consolation at the end of the first half. And Quartz hasn't really been great, in all reality. But I still don't know if we're going to sell him on. I don't really want to. Obviously, if we do sell him, we're bringing in our striker, but... Whether that'll be Guidi, or whether that'll be... Um, the other guy I looked at, I forgot his name. 52 to 48 in terms of possession. Uh, six shots to one. 2.2 .2 expected goals to 1.0. It makes sense. But they're winning. And honestly, they'll probably win. Even with the red card. They've still been better. With 10 men. And we have 11 Friday coming on. For the second half. He's called Fred, but his actual name is Friday. That's a cool name. I'm probably, he's probably not pronounced Friday. But I'm pronouncing it Friday. Uh, it switched off Gomez when I didn't need it to. Okay. It Am I not allowed to just not, I get the ball here off him, man? Friday's gone the whole way, man. And, and he's actually won a corner out of it. Brav! That is stupid that it switches off Gomez when not even press the bumper to switch it off Gomez. Gomez has got that covered. I'll probably tackle him with no problem if it doesn't switch player. Trying to pick out a teammate. Insufficient yeah, I'm not too bothered about the results of this, but it's just basic things in the game that should work that don't. Jane Coates is offside. It's gone to Alan Kane, who's knocked onto Coates, so I think he's offside again anyway. Just stay. Like, if you've gone offside, mate, just come back on. I didn't knock it onto Coates personally, but I pressed A to. Pass it obviously, and it just must have aimed for Coates and actually aim it, truth be told. There's been so much but Coates is probably the one close. The would go ahead, but it will go ahead, right, come on, well, Gomez. Prove your worth, man. I mean, obviously, you're free, so you can't really prove your worth, but prove your wage. Just very good from Gomez. Born gets it away. Lucas. Marius Marin. Got some space on the right. He's not the slowest man in the park now after his. Uh, Drills last season. Kane misses it and Coates can't get there. I don't really know if I want to get Coates. God, if Kane's our only backup. But to be fair, um, I will get another striker in, like I said. It'll be one of the two I scouted who I can't remember the other name of. One will be uh, Guidi. 
Lucas for a good tackle. Then again, could like play good yet. Kane, great hold up play to Marius Marin. Knocked off the coats. And it's a bit <laughs> it wasn't even coats, so I knocked it off to it was Finn Lucas. I thought Coates was coming up with me. It was our captain. A man retiring at the end of the season. I wonder how many of those we'll have this season where the commentators talk about how Finley Lucas is considering well, retirement. I genuinely thought it was like Jaden Coates coming up with me. It was only when I saw the number eight that I realised it was our CDM who'd pushed up. And that should be saved, but we've gotten a little bit of luck there. So back underway. In yeah, the game's back contest, in the grasp, obviously, the with the red card for the Norwegian team. A man down, we've got a better chance, so but it hasn't felt like... We, even with 10 men, they just feel like they're all round better, which They've probably is away. true. Jay Mason. Again, not the fastest, but he is 82 rated, so we expect a little bit more from him. Well, but... I should have ball rolled. I'm, I'm not too reliant on my skill moves, and maybe I should be. A bit more reliant on them. And the ball with Jack. Try to switch to Bourne is like try to switch to uh, fucking goodness knows what. But Gomez in the way very now, well there. Finley Lucas, Jane Coates, same play it over and I'll run so on to it. I've played it over. It and he's tried to run on to it, but it has, hasn't worked obviously, quite clearly. Um, Alan Kane's been pretty rubbish, so he'll probably get in our spell on loan. Jack. If I touch it, I'll keep him for just cup games to be honest. But I'm sensing that we may be parting with Jaden Colts. Jaden, mate, if you just score one this game, I'll keep you. All right, come. If you haven't balled it, you dumb cunt. Okay, right. Let's make some substitutions. But also, I don't want to get rid of him, but I just... The price is good for him, and I don't know if I'll get much better. So I think we're gonna we're gonna part ways with our boy Jaden Coates. So we'll just bring our striker in, and whether that be Guidi or whether that be I forgot his name, bro. Who was the other one? Nye Hagen coming on for a regard. We're bringing off um, Mason Ferrer and Kane for Amaral, Lees, and Loyola Tanzio. Right, let's, um, I'm going to look at these strikers and I know I'll kick myself and not remember his bloody name. A chance to whip it in. Greedy was the smaller one. I remember the other one was a bit taller. I don't know if that was my defender header there or them. But if it wasn't Gomez, I've got questions. Like, how does a six foot six player just seem to lose every bloody header? Lee's has done awfully. In fact, actually, no, Lee's hasn't done awfully. The defender does really well. Gomez, mate, come on. I know you're just new at the club. You're just getting, like, used to the English style and stuff. Okay. That's, that's just, that's just a FIFA 22 goal. There's nothing much I can do about that. My defender's been caught in possession. I've tried to do, I've tried to pass it. The game has decided that Friday is taking it off me. And he just bodies me. And Dordovic, uh, apparently he just, like, the strike just thunders it in. And Dordovic can't get his arms up high enough. Despite the fact that it's probably its head level. Well, I, I know one thing. Dordovic ain't starting so any games. Away, the score. I'm pretty sure Strom's got set have had less chances than what Salernitana did. And I'm pretty sure... I didn't check, actually. I should have checked Lishka's save rate, but I'm pretty sure he's got a better rate than... Um, oh, fuck well, off, cunt. Away. He's got a better rate than Dordovic. Amaral's but lost it. Yeah, we, yeah, we're out there. We're out there, yeah, pre-season tournament. We'll play the last game just for the funds. Funds and see what we can do. But, it, yeah, I just... Realistically, these guys are too good for us at the level we're at. I think what I'm going to do, and I don't really... I know I've gone over it multiple times, I don't really want to. But I think I'm going to get rid of Jaden Coates, man. He was good the first season. He's been a strong player. 
But he's going to go at some point, and this might be potentially the most I can get for him, because he's 28, he's only going to get older. I don't know how much rating he's going to grow in. So... No, I'm not going to blame Laura Latanzio for that one, stopping his run. I'm going to blame myself, because... I did play it a little late, and Laurel Tanzu had to stop his run. Because if he hadn't, uh, he would have been offside. But that being said, I'll go back to our point about Colts. Uh, he hasn't had a great game today. And he isn't going to grow much more than he has. You can see we could get a goal out of him here, but I can't play it through. Really Shops God set, even with 10 men, have absolutely surprised me, to be honest. They've been very good. I thought maybe the one, t one team I could possibly beat, and I, uh, I'm not going to beat them by the looks of it. Well, they can keep possession of it now. Gomez has been highly disappointed. He's putting some decent tackles towards the end of the game, but the majority has been highly disappointed. Dordovic uh, has been as bad as I expected, to be honest. Kovacic could push forward here and create some in. Jane Coates back post. Oh, it's an awful ball. And it's actually behind our striker. Now, there's not much I could do with the outgo probably outgoing man if the Fancy. chances are created like that. Like, we're going to need some better chance creation off the wings if so we're going to do that. Time here. And honestly, I don't think crossing is maybe the way to go. Just with our strike force. Loyal Tanzio, who's small. And then if we bring in Gurihi, he's small as well. If we bring in the other guy, who I don't remember the name of, for love of money, we're going to get a goal back. It's not going to be meaning anything, but Callum Lee's scored a banger. I think the other guy who... Like, why can't I remember his name, man? Well, here's the goal again, and it's a really By the way, nice he was taller, I'm pretty sure, anyway. The vision to set up the chance is outstanding. And when he gets onto it, he decides to go for power. It's a really emphatic It's probably finish, which gives an the easy save no if the goalkeeper has actually worked in this game. There's still a decent effort from Callum Lees. Obviously, it won't count towards anything now. It's very late. Too late. But he, I know he's going to have a solid season again. He was solid last season. I, I love it when he pushes forward. He doesn't play like he's 30. He's good enough to and like pass like a 20-year-old. Well, a tale of woe in terms of the scoreline as far as the visitors are concerned here. Well, Derek, certainly not their Strum's best. Strum's set. Just a little bit off the pace for me. Just edge it in the end. The key thing is he fought it back, back, but they, uh, they even with their 10 men, they were very strong. I think it's fair to say he'll be happy with his own contribution in this game, Stuart. Well, it's a good performance. He worked hard, played well, and scored Can't a goal. Much about that. And his team won. What more could you ask for? We're probably, unless there's a miracle in some terms of goal difference somewhere along the line, we're probably out of this preseason tournament, which I'm not going to lose sleep over it. Realistically, I kind of expected to be out of it. But, um... Nice to be certain about it. Seven shots to three in terms of the stats. 53 to 47 possession. 2.3 to 2.5 expected goal. Okay, explain to me. I don't understand expected goals at all because I had three shots. I've got more expected goals than their seven shots. Now, is it based on target or what? They had five on target. I don't get it. Um, I... I'm going to have to read into the expected goals and how they work it out. But whatever. Man of the match for us, I think it was Finley Lucas. He got our or one of our goals. Um, 7.3. Marius Marantis, Jin Coates. Not the greatest performance from him, and it will most likely be his last performance in a Collingworth shirt, unfortunately. Um, even though he didn't have a great performance today, it will be hard to part ways with him. He was our starting striker the first season, and then we brought in Loyal Tanzio. And they kind of switched in and out, interchange. And then they formed quite a good partnership at the end of last season. Um, but he will... I will accept the transfer offer and it's up to him if he wants to go. But an assist for him in a 6.9. And probably his last game. Callum Lee, 6.8. And a goal. And it was it was decent ratings, I guess. Gomez getting a somewhat good rating. But I just don't feel like he would... I don't know. Maybe I'm kind of critical of Gomez because he's 73 rated and I'm expecting better. Are we lagging? We are. Okay, cool. So Gullickson, despite getting red carded early, still managed to get a 6.1. Okay. But man, the match... Did we not have a 7.3? We did. Oh, but they get it because they won. I don't know. It's not because they won at all. I don't know why. But uh, Johan Hove getting the man of the match because of his goal. 
But Fred Friday with one of the coolest names. Uh, with a 7.3. Deary with a 7.2 goal. Hockstad with a assist and a 7.1. And Stengel with an assist and a 7. They weren't actually much better than our team, to be honest. In terms of overall, slightly better in some areas. Slightly worse in some, actually. Um, but you know what, actually? They're probably equal to us. I mean, more well-rounded than we are. But, uh... Honestly, not much better than us. A little bit disappointed about that one, to be honest. But we... Can we stay in this? I mean, no. There's no I mean about it, because... Empoli and Salah and Natan obviously won their first games each and then drew there. And we can only get three points out of this last game. And we need four. So, no, we can't. So, we will only have one more game. Jensen Saunders could be getting a loan out to Salford. Loan to buy. No, 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 no. When I put him out on the loan list, I just want to get a bit of experience at your club. I don't want him to give experience and stay there. Now, if it was a transfer list, then I'd understand. Because, yes, I want him to go. Loan list means, yes, I want him to go. For a bit. Saunders so agreement. Salford have accepted the loan deal for a year. Whether Jensen Saunders accepts it is up to him. And we might come up against him in the League 2 season. There you go. So we've got our final actual gameplay of the career mode. I didn't save after the first game. Fair enough. And then we'll probably be just going over transfers and whatnot until we get to the start of the season, which will commence on August 6th. Now, looking at this, what I need... Goalkeepers, I'm still on the fence about. Obviously, Dordovic won't be the goalkeeper. But I need Lishka to be consistent if I'm going to give him the number one shirt. Right back, I think we're set. Alo for our season with um, Kovacic and probably Luca Bailey as backup. Gomez, sorted. The other set back position yet to be decided. I'll probably look for another one though, to be honest. And then I'll put Parker or Brady on the transfer list. I won't put both on, it'll be one or the other. Wilkins and, well, Arlo Bon could go there as well. Left back's pretty much sorted. Uh, Finley Lucas. I don't think he'll go CDM for the season. I think he'll be back up for whoever I do sign at CDM. Either that or I'll put him in centre mid. Centre mid will probably be okay, but might just get another one in case. Cam, we definitely need a backup for Jay Mason. And striker, if we do sell quotes, then we'll have to find our striker as well. So three or four players will have to come in, in my opinion. And in fact, actually, before we go into the next game, I better respond to the offer before they say, eh. Actually, we don't want him anymore. So, I accept that. And it's up to Coates. He doesn't want to go. That's fine. I'll get to keep him. I'll be happy about it. If he does want to go, I can't stop him. So, who was the other striker I got? Right, I need to look. Was it Gilliman? No. Who was it? Give me the deets. There was, uh, oh, it was Shoo Who. How do I forget that name? How do I forget the name of Shoo Who? Now, it's going to be down to these two. It will just be based on rating, honestly. Height's not a big bother. I, I might just go for Shoo Who based on the height, but we'll see when the scout report comes through Who to see who we're getting. Did you like that? <laughs> through Who, get it? So I actually didn't, uh, Except Colt's thing after the game. So we'll get one more game out of him. And we might as well just throw... We might as well just throw everyone on. We're out anyway. We might as well just go all out. I say go all out. I'm pretty much starting as I like would anyway. There's a lot of strength in it that could be required here. Uh, put Arlo Born back here. In fact, did Luca Bailey get a start? He got some game time as a sub, I believe, but not as a starter. 
I'm going to sneeze, so I apologize. <coughs> Excuse me. I need to try and get quiet sneezes. <laughs> so the final game of this... Um, I'm just looking at a couple of names. Final game of the preseason because we're going to get knocked out. But I recognise Romagnoli. Now, I don't think that is Romagnoli. Alessio Romagnoli. I don't think it's him. Henderson, I doubt it's Jordan Henderson. And I doubt that's Barry Bannon as well, although he's not as bad as the other two I just mentioned. But if that's Alessio Romagnoli and Jordan Henderson, how much money do Empoli have? But the San Siro for the final game. I play the San Siro every time. Now it's, the occasion's kind of wearing off a bit on me. Leishka in goal, Wilkins and Bailey as the fullbacks, Vuksic and Gomez as the centre backs, Lucas centre defensive mid, Lees and Marin centre mids, Jay Mason centre attacking mid, Loyal Tanzio and Coase as the strikers. I'm going to make sure we have a centre mid on the bench just because uh, Marin looks tired. We've got Furrer. San Siro, here we go. Now, I wouldn't usually do this, but I'm genuinely intrigued. As soon as the game starts, I'm going to be looking to see the first names of those players. It's too much of a coincidence that Romagnoli and Henderson are there. I doubt it's Romagnoli. I bet there's probably a few Romagnolis in the Italian league. But there's no way that's Jordan Henderson, is it? I'm trying to think of another Henderson that it could be instead of mid. But I, my brain doesn't spring any to mind. Right, go on then, let's have a gander. L. Henderson, S. Romagnoli. Okay, so we've got Liam Henderson. Is That, that is Barry Bannon, right? Yeah, Barry Bannon is there. And, yeah, Simone Romagnoli. Okay, that's fine. And that's put my, that's put my fear at ease. Because imagine if they had Jordan Henderson and Alessio Romagnoli. They're not the biggest names in the world, but they're a lot better than what we are. Even though we're out anyway, this is still going to be a struggle. They'll still go for it. They have a chance of potentially being knocked out by Strom's Godset. If Strom's Godset beat uh, Salernitana and we beat these guys, then they're out. Granted, it's just pre-season, but just hope that's the case again today. People care about that. Well, the I personally don't. The but some teams do. I think it's a great bit of refereeing. Everybody now Barry Bannon looks like he's standing over the free punished. kick here. I think he's in the... I think he's at Sheffield Wednesday in real life. That's a very interesting sign for Empoli. See, some of these signings you miss because they're just lower kind of transfer um, fees. Go on, Lishka. It's good enough. Oh, okay, that's not good enough. Well, what a chance that right, was it might be good enough. Jay Mason could get into courts. Or the Tanzio. Oh, I thought it's not was. where I've aimed it, but I mean it has it has come to our Aussie here. I ball rolled. I have ball rolled, and it's done nothing. All right. Nedim Bayrami. Stulats. So they're probably going to outplay us completely, which I'm not surprised about. But I would like to maybe. Close enough, it would be quite interesting. I'm wondering where like, Lucas is. I don't know if I really want to control in that situation. He just doesn't seem to be there. That's very good from Gomez, but of course, are we going to get rewarded for it? Yes, we are. Lishka with a very brilliant save. Still back to them, of course, but can't get everything you want, and they put it over. One day, when we defend, we'll actually be able to defend and get the ball away rather than it bouncing to them six times. Obviously, six was an exaggeration in that case, but you get my point. You understand where I'm coming from. You catch my drift. Vuksic out to Wilkins. 
And I want to run the whole way, but I'm going to get caught with, because he's not the fastest by any means. Nikolai Al is one who makes the charging runs, and he's not here, because he's still in the World Cup, despite being out of the World Cup. And actually, we need to check the World Cup very soon. Jim Mason's going to make the run down the right, and then cross it in, I think, rather than play it close. Psych. Oh. Oh, I don't know. I've got away with that. Marius Marin. Oh, Lee's. Coach, was Lee's offside? Is that why he... Oh, yeah. Okay. Cool. I just have a brain then. I'm honestly just trying to get through this last game. I, I don't mind playing FIFA, but I just, tonight, I kind of don't want to play anymore. I'm kind of, I'm lucky glad we got knocked out. I would have played it, probably, if we'd stayed in, but I'm lucky glad we got knocked out. I'm not really fussed about the preseason too much. That's great from Lishka. Although he didn't make need to make it look that dramatic. He saved it. So that's all I'm caring about, alright? Mancuso. Wilkins, I had to do man with stick a leg out. Granted, it could have gone anywhere, and I think Lishka's nearly dove over that. So if you care about transfer news after this game, stick around and watch the rest of the episode. If you're not really too fast, obviously, you can click off. I hope you've enjoyed. If you haven't enjoyed, fair enough. So, I'm not sure what I'm more annoyed about. I'm happy it's offside. Granted, it's... Oh, prof, we've got away with murder a little bit there. I don't even know if it's offside. Well, the, the offside is not the problem here. <laughs> I think you could probably guess. That's not the camera I wanted. I'm going to press the Y button. Give me a second. Let's get back to the one it was at. Let's go back again. Now, I think it's glaringly obvious why I'm annoyed, right? So, ball's come in. It's played along. Yes, he is offside. It actually... It looks a bit more obvious on here. But yes, he is offside. Now, that's not the problem. It's hit off the bar. About, is that bounced off a knee of my... Right, this is where we go to this camera. What's it bounced off of on my keeper? That is that even a natural... Hold on. Um, cool. All right, yeah. Yep, yep. Is it a natural bounce where it should be bouncing? Like, if it's bouncing on... Okay, cool. Crossbar's on the way. If it's bouncing... Yeah, okay, fair enough. But yeah, if that had stood, I just would have been fuming. But luckily for Lishka, and for us in that situation, it was offside. Cameron's got to change back now. Play it short to Vux. It just, I don't understand why this game hates me. Gomez, very good cover. Excellent first touch under and Marin gets away with it. I don't know if he's going to keep away with it, but he's going to make the run anyway. I actually play it back to Coates if I can. Or into Coates, perhaps, yeah. This Coates. Mason. Lorelo Tanzio. Lucas. Offside. Can we Let's stop? Uh, I mean, they're the playing quite a high line, to be fair, but can we position. still stop running offside? Oh, I, mm, I'm an idiot again. I thought 65 might have played us on. Is that 65 or 69? Whatever. I thought he might play this on, but obviously looking at the replay, he hasn't. That goes Laura Latanzio, please. Thank you. I wanted. Lucas wins the ball. Not the cleanest way, but he does win it. Marius Marin's fucked it. Henderson. An interesting name for an Italian team, but obviously. English players go across the sea all the time. We've got Jaden Sancho as a prime example of that, the main one. Maybe David Beckham actually would probably been a better example than Jaden Sancho, but you got what I mean. That's really good play, and it's over the top by Mancuso. See, that's the kind of play we can't do yet because our players suck. They're not this kind of standard yet, obviously. I don't expect it to be. I've only had... Right, no, like FIFA, we're gonna have to, like, we actually have to talk about this. Why are you being a prick? No, good, I hope you fouled him. Because that's so stupid. I've pressed a simple A pass, and it's done that with Gomez. I don't know if it's just my passing or if the game's passing in general is just stupid. Barry Bannon's got a closer opportunity now. 
And the Scotsman could put this in the back of the net. If I wasn't putting a player on the line, I wish it was Gomez who I was putting on the line, but I'm putting Vuksic on instead. And he's got there. Very, very scummy, but I don't care, man. Marius Marin. I, I told him I just run a straight line. I hate to stop running in straight lines. I hate to try and move a bit more. Simone Romagnoli. Stulatz. I'll give him some of Simone Romagnoli. Obviously, probably related to Alessio, but for a second I thought it was him. Well, Great by Wilkins. Finley Lucas. Jane Coates. No let up in the pressing department. Was that flower? It just went off outside. And plenty of room in the wide area. Pirello. Take it to the byline, and now he's coming back with it. I don't understand well, why people do that. It was. Obviously, it's not Parson. It's a. Yeah, but I still don't understand why it's in the game. Oh, just fucking! That's not Coates' fault. That's Latanzio's. I've played that like played the ball touch earlier, and because the touch has gone so stupidly far, the ball obviously hasn't got through, and it's uh, mm. the only silver lining is they haven't played too well either. If they had played well, they would have got a goal by now, realistically, wouldn't they? Lamantia. Put the ball in the back of our net. But offside is dictated Stulatz. that it doesn't count as a goal. Moving the ball effectively, looking for the right moment. Bailey coming across. Well, Gomez getting fouled in the clearance, but I guess the game doesn't want to register that. We're ruining the scripting, I suppose. Oh, good tackle. Vuksic has been strong at the back. That's a Marcus foul. Challenge, free kick. Done really well there, to be honest. Draw the foul as well. I should have passed it off earlier. I've actually, I've actually got on away with it a little bit there, to be honest. Still like with a stupid tackle, and we've got away with it. We will get a free kick. Wilkins into Lee's. That wasn't for Marin, that was for Coates. Now this will not go to Coates either because oh, it's the game it and it will not allow me to get it to the player I want to get it to. Well, at least it went in that kind of direction. I've got to give it credit Ronnie. for actually putting it in somewhat the right direction. Well, the first one was meant for Coates, just to go straight through, but I do want to go Wilkins now, actually. I guess I don't. Sorry, really, I don't know who I want to go. Don't want to commit both defenders to one guy. Oh! How have Paulie not taken the lead though? Like realistically, better contact than that. His technique is brilliant. He's so unlucky there. We've been pegged back by his Italian team the whole time. Parisi, the latest miss. I don't know if we've had a shot. Every time we've been offside or the pass has just gone to the wrong player, or come in the wrong technique. I'm being pressed here. They're pressing me hard, Marius Marin. What? 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 I've just done a simple A pass. I believe it's to Jaden Coates. So where does it get the idea? I want to play it back to either. I don't know if it's Lees or Mason. I don't. I'm not looking into it. I don't really. I'm fucking annoyed, man. This is where they skipped the goal from stoppage time in the first half. And Wilkins is playing him on, because of course he is, or wouldn't it be? Good pressure high up the pitch. Oh, just, you know what? Like, make a bit more room, lads. They need to get tighter. Great by Gomez. Corner. I, but the passes are just all going wrong well, this well, game. At this stage, going back to the chance from earlier. I don't get it, but I'm not going to look into it too much in pre-season. If it's fucking pissing me off in league, then there might be a little bit of changing required to some of the sliders. I might put pass error down for both teams, Who's so some of the passes up should make more their destinations. Oh, like, I'm aiming for a certain player, and they'll the make end. it. Out of time, somehow it's nil-nil. I'm not quite sure how we've finessed this nil-nil here at halftime. Well, They've had a lot told, more chances. They've had a goal as well, today, but obviously we'll go for offside. We know he's a and good we player, are not on hanging on. He just hasn't looked a threat. I don't know what we're hanging on for because we're already out the cup. But 
Because Jobs Godset are beating Salona Tana at the moment. And Paulie won't go through. In fact, Salona Tana won't go through. They're on the four, but Jobs Godset are losing. Okay, so it will be the two Italian teams from our group, I think, that will be progressing. Even if we do beat Empoli here, I think that will still be the case. Let's take a look at stats. I don't think I've had a shot. And I haven't. I have been dominated. We should be losing about 2 or 3 nil. I didn't expect anything for that of this one. Empoli the hardest team out of the three. But uh, we've been holding on. 60 to 40 in terms of possession for them. 7 shots to 0. 1.6 expected goals to 0. Yeah, they've been in complete, utter control. Now we might be able to smash and grab this in the second half. Have I even had defensive on? I've not even had defensive on. No wonder. There we go. Watch me put defensive now on concede. I don't like that. It's just my luck. Someone's getting away. I thought it would go to my other centre-back, to be honest, but it's not done that. Lishka, I'm just going to get it away. I don't trust the game. Granted, I did want it to go to one of my players, but we won't. Be too greedy. I've got one man to mark three people with. Like what? Like, what are the odds of me actually getting the ball? Gomez in the way. Marin. Again, didn't go to the right player. Mason was making the run through. That's who I aim for. Luca Bailey is not even in right back, and it shows. At least go with a save, but realistically, man, where my like what Bailey? Why are we there, man? That's off target as well, so I don't know why Lishka's made such a save for it, but whatever. Better safe than sorry, and it's actually getting our number one a bit of experience. He's doing well against Napoli, to be honest. A lot of their efforts have been off target, but the ones that have been on, he's kept out, so I can't complain. I mean, they'll probably score at some point. But I'm enjoying the moment. Lishka saves. And he's in for Mason with it. He's knocked it on. Well, it was meant to be knocked on to Lucas, who has won it, actually, to be fair. I didn't expect him to. Wilkins in a bit of space. Jaden Coates, if we score that first shot, we're scumbags, man. Please. Mason! Oh, I was going to say. Please! I've not I've shot it straight at him. Put it around him, idiot donkey. We actually could have smashed and grabbed it right there. And we still can. Coates, Marin, offside, you fucking animal. Imagine if we just smash and grabbed it. I mean, after we've had a few shots, it's not really as much of a smash and grab. Both teams have scored now. Both teams have had their goals ruled out by the linesman's flag. Unfortunate, but what can you do? So They're probably the making some substitutions. Now. They're making one Schmelzer. That's not Marcel Schmelzer, is it? I know most of these players because of when they were in their heyday, really. It probably is, but he's not going to be as good as he was. His Dortmund days. So it's not really a worry. Not quite at the same level as Frank Ribery, so. By Rami. Well, just couldn't keep the ball. Maris Marin out strengthening. Over top ball. Nice ball. Little ding. That's wonderful. That is wonderful play. That is beautiful play. And our Aussie, I think that's his first goal of the preseason. Laurel Tanzio puts this 1 0 up. When we should be 3 0 down. Well, oh, I don't want to my voice. My I'm voice cracking all over the joint. I don't know. I'm just probably tired, man. 3 0 down. That's a brilliant chip, though, to be fair. By Laurie Latanzio. I think I'm comfortable making a couple of subs now. With one of them being Jaden Coates, because he is absolutely snookered. We'll give Jensen Saunders a run out before he gets loaned out. For no real reason than because I might as well. Um, Farrer coming up from Marin. We'll do that for now. 
Why are we 1 0 up when we should be 3 0 down? You might be asking. And I will tell you. Because we're lucky as fuck. Back underway. 1 0 it is. And Paulie will be annoyed if they lose this. They're through anyway, but they'll be annoyed if they lose this. It was Loyola Tangio's first goal. He's appeared in all three matches. A bit of a slow start for someone who I'm expecting to have a big season again. And again, he could continue that. That's not the touch what to make there. And he's actually blocked that with his arm, but the referee won't give that handball because it's not me it's going against. So. What can you do? I mean, Lucas is meant to be my CDM, but he plays more like a bloody cam, I'll tell you that much. Jay Mason's going <laughs> to cover left back here. I don't know where our, um, our left back is. Wilkins, I don't know what you were doing, man, but Jay Mason just had to cover for you from cam. Lees, over to Laura Tans. You might get a second here to seal the deal. Jensen Saunders! Oh! That was perfectly timed, and it is going to be a corner. We're going to get a corner. I think. Imagine, I'm about to loan this man out and he just goes and scores. There is definitely potential there with that man, Jensen Saunders. It's just not going to be discovered this season here. Time for a change then. Richie or Ri Ri It's an Italian name, it won't be Ricky. I'm going to just go with Ricky because it's easier to say. It'll be Richie or something. But uh, Ricky coming for Henderson. Well, a short corner to reiterate, here. not Jordan. And into the box. Laura Tanzio. Well, no defensively. I believe Liam Henderson is a lower league um, a championship, maybe, center mid. Vuksic. Oh my god, fur through the gap. Can't, I don't know why I didn't just run through and maybe go for it there, but I didn't I didn't think he would make Harry it, to be honest. Fur is very slow. Gomez with a brilliant back. tackle. It was handball against their player. Lucas. Fighting. That's not meant for Jensen Saunders. But he's going to play it back to Lucas. Fire Callum Lees! Ah, oh, pass it around me a bit too much. I wanted to get it to Latanzio, but he just... It's due to be offside, really, is the problem there. We've definitely not smashed and grabbed it now. We're putting our work into this one. Luca Bailey with an awful pass. And into the last 15 minutes of action. 15 minutes remain here. At the San Siro, last time we were playing here, for a long time, I would assume, if ever. It really depends on who we draw in future Champions Leagues, Europa Leagues, possibly even Europa Conference Leagues, should it come to that. I'm not against playing in that, to be honest. When we get to that level, obviously. We've actually got away with that, because our defence was not prepared. You know what, for the last 12 well, minutes, we'll give Parker a run out of CDM. I don't think he actually does play CDM. Piscopo, coming on at Philomantia as well. Or Piscopo, I don't even pronounce it. We're going to go Piscopo. Oh, yeah, right. <laughs> Parker at CDM <laughs> was not the manoeuvre. <laughs> and there it is. It, it's been coming. It has been coming. Is is it Parker that's the CDM or is it Vuksic that can play the CDM role? Neither of them is the answer to that one. He could play centre mid. What? Oh, it might have been Brady that can do CDM. Or was it Gomez? Does Gomez play it? Eh, Gomez will play it. He'll we'll fucking do it. Bit more energy in the middle there from Gomez than it will be from Parker. No real surprise. But it would have been nice to have a shock win, you know? Well, here's the replay, and it's a really inviting ball. It is still on for it, but. I don't know why no one is marking or trying to tackle Ricky there. Why like Gomez has moved out of the way. I can't blame that one on Lishka because Gomez has pretty much blocked his entire view. And also, Lishka's had a decent game. Nine minutes remaining. It won't matter in the, the general scheme Remember of things, but can we try and get back in the lead here? I doubt it. We were lucky to get in the lead in the first place. 
the first goal for uh, Ricky Mason. in this preseason tournament. May not be his last because they're going to go through, aren't they, to the next round. Didn't want that along the floor, but Bailey's going to play it back to Furrow. So into Mason. Juncture. Saunders well, is not going to be able to turn around the defender. Defending. I'm wondering why Gomez is forward, and I remember I put my CDM. <laughs> Stulatz. And to be fair, when Lucas plays CDM, he rushes forward like a demented bison. Wasn't who I aimed for with the header. I did aim for my uh, center mid. They may still steal a victory out of this, and I won't be surprised if they do, because they deserve it. And usually when Liska concedes one, it kind of just goes into a free fall. I have been fouled, and it has gone to the wrong player. But the ref's not going to give in. Like, it's those kind of situations where I've been, like, quite well, obviously well there, fouled the game. and the game's like the mm. I mean and Paulie will be going through we win or lose but imagine if we win it's not a big team obviously and time but I think the they survived now. in Syria to be honest I think they were one of the teams that survived the drop Paris are coming on or coming off for Tonelli and you have to remember we're still in league 2 and we just finished 8th from bottom in that league it wasn't an easy first season by any means. But I feel a bit comes. more confident now I know what we need and how much of it we need. I think we may just have to settle for a Stulatz. surprising draw unless they go for a winner here, which they might get. Lorenzo Tonelli. And the ball with Mancuso. Can't miss, surely. Well, realistically... That should have been closed down a lot better than it was. And I don't know why it wasn't. I've got the players there to do so. But Empoli deserve it. And they're going to be the ones that are going through. I, I just... And the finish is just as good. That's an excellent goal. It shouldn't be going in, should it, really? Liska probably should get a bit more to that. Granted, but... I have the players there to intercept it. It just goes through them. Kevin Piscopo gets the what will probably be the winner for Empoli here. I've not had a lot of last-minute goals scored past me to win games. Well, so I'm not going to put scenario, a lot of complaints on it, especially as it's pre-season. But at the same time, it's kind of annoying when we fought so hard. <laughs> Mason. Furrow, not the fastest, like I said. The He's going to go, goal. you know. And players waiting at the far post. Oh, Jensen Saunders. Callum Lees. Laura Latanzio. Oh, yeah, just yeah, just bubble about. Jay Mason. To get a body in the way. Oh, foul, yeah? Oh, not for and me. All right, cool. Fair enough. Whistle, <laughs> to the I thought it might be against them for me. Well, Derek, Damn it. Yes, they only lost by one goal. That was my best match <laughs> of today. The we gave it our all. We had to take a leave. But they got the deserved win in the end. <laughs> and we were out of the cup anyway. Well, it's only a pre-season. Obviously a lot to improve on. So. A couple of signings to be day. made. He's great to watch when he's in this sort of and form. possibly a couple of outgoings depending on what money we get. And uh, who is getting bidded on, really. Who people want. I'll tell you now. Jay Mason, unless he absolutely it demands to leave, will not be going anywhere. For any price. We took the lead with Laurel Tanzio. But fair to play to them, they brought it back. Look at the stats, it's deserved for Empoli. 57 to 43 in terms of possession, 13 shots to 6. And 2.9 uh, to 2.2 .2 in terms of expected goals. We weren't going to get anywhere in that cup anyway, which is fine. I've taken a look at some of the squad members. Some of the performances were good, some of the performances were yeah. But uh, at the end of the day... We're out of the cup now. Finley Lucas, man of the match once again with an assist and a 7.1. He's really trying to prove himself, isn't he? <laughs> In his final season. Laura Latanzio equals him for joint man of the match for our team anyway with a goal. Leishka, strong performance. Save accuracy was good. It just kind of fell apart a little bit at the end there. Um, but consistency is what will be needed in League 2. And if he can bring that, he can play. But we're going to look till... The, I mean, I said I'd give him till January, but we'll look till the end of August, see how the first few league games and cup games and stuff are going. And we'll base it off of that, really. 
Uh, Nedim Bayrami with two assists and a 7.3 is their man of the match and the man of the match of the entire game. Ricky came on with a goal and a 7.1 and then Piscopo got the winner with a 6.7. We will move on because at the end of the day, preseason ain't really a thing to be honest. I ain't too bothered either because it doesn't really give us much. Preseason money, 344k. Just not say we're all sorry team to make it out of the group stage. I want to let you know we still have every confidence in you. Oh shit, the objectives! So, uh, <laughs> we'll take a look at the objectives for this season. Within two seasons, have at least one player from the Youth Academy sign the first season, play at least 58% of the games in the next season. While Jay Mason will be doing that. Get seven clean sheets and home matches this season. I'm hoping I have a better opportunity to do that with uh, my defensive tactics, but we shall see. Make a 2.15 million profit from youth player sales in two seasons. Again, we'll see. League two, fight for promotion. Now that is exactly, this board is on my wavelength. This is what I was thinking. I was going to say playoffs, but fight for promotion is playoffs, I guess. So fair play to the board. And I'm down to try that. I'll give it my all anyway. Reach the round of 16 stage in the FA Cup. No continental success. Those are realistic, apart from the FA Cup, obviously. That, was, that won't happen. We can't with FA Cup. Did Ben Brennan get signed? He's going to independiente. Well, it'll have to be Thierry then if he stays on the free agents list. Although we obviously do have other options. But it will most likely be Thierry. And in terms of striker... We have to wait to see if it will be a sale for us for Jaden Coates, but it will most likely be sure who. We've still got 10 days remaining on both our other striker options there. We don't have any games now till the start of the season. Let's just see what we can achieve. Well, obviously, when we get to where we're going as well, we'll take a look at. The World Cup. Signal final scout power on Owen Fuller. Did I scout Owen Fuller? I did. He doesn't look bad at all. There's some definite potential there. But I think we've got some better ones on the way. We'll be keeping an eye out for scout reports coming through. On the way through. We'll also be keeping an eye on transfer offers as well. Speaking of which, we're going to have two messages here. Jensen Saunders is gone. And heartbreaking. I obviously could have turned it down, but I didn't. Jaden Coates. Good player for his club for the first season. Decent preseason. But I can't turn down 830k for a man who is 28 years of age. 64 rated. I did ask for 150k. But I think 830k is very much acceptable. Now, I'm not signing a new striker yet. Because I'm waiting on the scout reports from the men that we did scout out. We're yet to see what those scout reports are. Sempats have shown interest in taking Andre Nikolic on loan for two years. Honestly, yeah. I don't even know how good... I don't think it'd be very good, to be honest, at the end of the day. So he could go for two years and then come back and be gone. Like, immediately sold. By that point, we'll probably be in League One. Dare I say, perhaps the Championship. I may be looking a bit too high. This is what we were looking for. Main man first. Thierry Gay. He doesn't look as good as I... Oh, dear. Oh, that's a fucking letdown. What's Ben Brennan looking like, then? Oh, you... Bastard, man. I should have just gone for him. Obviously, well, I mean, I could try and sign him, but he's going to be four mil. That's going to take our whole budget. I am an idiot, man. I should have just gone for Ben Brennan. Uh, what's Lorenzo DeAngelis looking like? He's slightly better, actually. Oh, Thierry Gay. I thought he was going to be the next coming of the bloody Eric Bailly. That's probably not really a really great comparison. But I thought it was going to be really good. I mean, he still could be really good. But Bruno Caballero is one I was really looking forward to as well. He, it turns out, he just is all pace. I mean, he's better than Wilkins. 
And we will be, we will be bringing him in. But uh, a bit of letdown as well. Vincente, Sarazo. Who is he? The Spanish right back. Again, I don't want to go overboard. I probably won't sign him this season. I'm going to stick with Nikolai Allo, I think, for one more season. Ben Brennan. He's fucking brilliant, but he's gone. Oh, I'm an idiot, man. Ian Adamson. Right back. He's looking all right. We'll keep him on the shortlist as well. Like I said, though, I'm going for one more season with Nikolai Allo. Did we get a report back from Raphael yet? No, two more days. Uh, a couple more days, I believe, as well for the strikers. I'm um, really upset. Not only that Jane Coates is gone, but I didn't sign Ben Brennan. Now, this is the main main area. Rafael Alexandre. He will come in and he will stay in. Yep, he, yep. He's only three ratings above Lucas, but of course he is that much younger. We've got Shuhu. Scout report coming in. He's looking decent. Could be a lot faster, obviously, but the finishing is good. We'll be working, obviously, on cor uh, of course, I'm on a plan if I sign him over this man, Enrico Guidi, who he is one year younger, and he's only an inch or two smaller. I'm gonna bait. All right. So stats, speed, seventy nine, seventy eight, uh, seventy eight, seventy four. Finishing 73, finishing 74. Mm. I think for me, I think Enrico Garidi just edges it, man. I don't know, you know. They're both very good strikers. But Guidi is a year younger. And his stats are similar. But do I just go shoo who for the name? Oh no. Because I know if I get one, I regret get not getting the other. And I can't get both because I don't want to overpower it with free agents. I think I'm going to go for shoo who. I'm sorry, I'm Rico, man. If he grows better than Shuhu, then we can do a swap later on down the line, obviously, but... It's a name I just can't pass up, man. That's the wrong hub. So, we've got our men that will be coming in. I think... Did I pick a centre-back in the end? We'll get these guys off for now. We're not going to get these right-backs just now. Carrazzo can actually a centre-back. Uh, I didn't pick a centre-back in the end, which I still need another one of. Uh, it's not going to be Thierry Gay, I'm afraid. It, I think, will be... Uh, can be Ben Brennan. It's going to be at Los, uh, Los Angeles. Okay, my brain. It's going to be Lorenzo D'Angelis, I think. Old partner. Albert Gomez. But we'll just take a look back at the office a second. Which ones were the centre back ones? Thierry Gay, Angelis, Cornelison. Overall under and a year older, slightly slower. So it won't be him. Carrazzo. He's a right back. Vernon Adamson. Yeah, we'll go for we'll go for Lorenzo De Angelis. It'll be better than what we've got anyway, even if it's not the one I really wanted. And Brennan, we hardly knew you. And he's also very flexible. He can play left back and left mid. What? He can play left back and left mid. He's not even fast. What do you mean? He'll be our centre back. Oh my god, the wages. We could pay him pennies. Compared to what we paid for uh, Albert Gomez, anyway. Recommended wage is 750 Sometimes it's a, uh, a little lower than that. Sometimes it's a little higher. If he wants crucial, he's going to be asking for more money. Five years, he wants to be here long term, and uh, unless we can get Ben Brennan on the cheap, he will be. Um, 1.5k. I don't trust this game. 1.5k and signing bonus of 20. I don't trust this game. I want to make sure we get him. Yeah, I'm not. I'm not fucking around with it. 
Um, I know he's not brilliant overall. We're also going to sign Bruno Caballero purely for the pace factor. I'm not caring about what anyone says. He can play both fullback positions as well, I believe. I think it said there, anyway. Important, he will be. He'll probably rotate with Wilkins and maybe start ahead of him. He wants to be here long term. Yeah. I know I said I wasn't going to sign any fullbacks, but I lied. Recommended wage 2.2k. We'll just go 2k. He's happy with it. That was a bit over the top. See, some of them could be under, some of them will be over. Uh, and then I believe it's Raphael Alexandre. We'll just remove these for now. I don't need a right back. We'll be okay for now. Raphael Alexandre and Shuhu. Shuhu can also play left mid. Not that we need that. But um, yeah, Raphael Alexandre coming in. Hopefully coming in. Well, as long as I get the negotiations correct. Once he signs her in, that'll be it. That'll be it, I think, for the season. I don't want to overdo it. I don't want to overdose on the free agents. That sounds like it's on drugs or something, but I don't want to have too much. Uh, remove that. You could ask for a bit more wage if you want. Yeah, that's fine. That's perfectly fine. That's brilliant. Done really well there. I know I'm skipping through quite a lot of it, but realistically, you've seen it all before. You've seen all these uh, things. And then show who. I am so sorry for uh, Enrico Greedy, and I could sign both of them. But I want to give Loyola Tanzio a bit more time to grow. And Shuhu just has a better name. He will be crucial. I'm not even in the like, front. <laughs> Five years. I really hope they say the wage. Because I'm not paying 6.5, man. Yeah, good. Right. Goals, you'll probably get 10. So I'm kind of concerned. You can put the wage up a little bit if you need to. 3.6. Fine, yeah. Alright, see what I mean? We're good at negotiating. We're speeding through these. We, turn, we take the bonus off, and then they can ask for a tiny bit more wage if they need to. It might add up more in eventually anyway, but whatever. We've got all our players we want in. That is us for the season now. We've got plenty of money, which I might actually use to upgrade my youth academy. But first of all, I'm going to switch these in. And Alexandre in the Angelis in for Vuksic, Wilkins for Caballero, and then Alan Kane for Shuhu. Now that is how the team is looking. Whether it remains like that obviously is yet to be seen. I don't think I'll make any more signings this, this season, I think now, maybe January, if an absolute wonder kid comes up, perhaps. But uh, I doubt it, honestly. I'm just making sure we've got our main starting squad and our bench. And honestly, I think I'm going to put Brady on the transfer list. Right, there's a couple I may add to a transfer list here. Let's just see. I think we'll do that for now. I do think I need another cam. But we may have someone come through in the Youth Academy, so I'm not going to waste any more money on free agents. I'm not going to... Like I said, I'm not going to absolutely OP it. I don't want to. That's no fun. We've got some very good talents coming through here. Like Garan Tabak. He will come in as backup probably in some kind of position. Vladko Ilic could be decent. Bogdanovic, I'm kind of... I'm not kind of too happy with, but we'll keep him for now. Lance Welsh is fine. Chermir Susak, still one I've been looking for for a while. Luke Gardner may go, honestly. We just don't need the goalkeepers. It's nothing against him. Kovac... We're, there's still a few we're waiting to see the potentials round out uh, but Harry Marshalls has rounded out and I may bring him up to send him out on loan to be honest and realistically he doesn't look like a striker does he looks more like a winger in my opinion in fact I don't know what it looks like it's such a bit weird but anyway we'll leave the youth academy for now we'll be getting some youth staff though We'll, ha we'll get rid of... Ja Jackson Kent's gone, man. Jackson Kent. Bye. Yeah, that's fine. That 9,000. That's nothing. That's a drop in the war. Um, we'll be bringing in Mikhail Nakimov. We're not going to bring in the top tier ones. And we're going to bring in an average one as well, David Pearson. We're not going to go overboard. We still want some money left. So we'll send Nakimov. We'll do the usual. We'll be sending them to their home countries. And from Russia, I would like 
I'd like a cam, I think. Playmaker, we'll go with. If I touch you, no. I like any. I like seeing what comes up. I know a lot of people will do just, like, very intense, kind of very targeted on what player specifically they want. And they'll only do it for three months and they'll try and get a list out of that. But I like doing it for nine months and see what comes back over the course of the whole season. Because usually I'll forget to set it up again. And then we're going to get some homegrowns here. So that's probably just blasted a load of our money. We've lost a couple milli. That's fine. We've still got a couple milli. Pearson's gone to England. Serge has gone back to his home country, Croatia. And Nakimov, who we've just brought in, has gone back to his home country of Russia. So they will come through on every 21st um, of each season. We will see those scout reports. I'll be used to them coming through on the first because I had that last season. But I obviously started it off late. So that won't be happening. And we, we're done with our business in terms of ingoing transfers. Now, outgoing transfers might be a little different. We've got Andre Nikolic completing his two-year loan move to St. Pat's in Ireland. See what else we can do. We will be doing some development plans as well. In fact, actually, maybe I should get some development plans going on in you guys before we get too close to the start of the season. It's a bit late now, obviously, but we're going to be whacking some on. So, uh, Gomez is on one. Alexandre, he's quite well-rounded. So, CDM is perfect for him. We'll be working on his defensive work rate, though. As a CDM, he needs to be a bit more of a defending guy. So, physical and defending will go up. That's fine. Uh, for DeAngelis... We'll have him... What's his work rate? High defensive work rate. Defensive stats are decent. Actually, I don't know. I don't know. We can maybe get his physical up. We'll maybe put him as a as a stopper to work on each of those. But I didn't realize his defensive work rates were high. Um, sure, whose attacking work rates are high as well? Development plan though. What we whack on him? Something to do with pace. Make him a little faster. I know he's fast. But make him a little faster. But obviously working his shooting too. So maybe Poacher. Or uh, maybe I think Mobile Striker. I think we'll go with that. Because uh, Stamina will go up as well. And then the final man who we just signed. Bruno Caballero. Obviously we don't need to work on his pace. I don't think his pace will go any further up. Anyway, it's 89. But uh, defending obviously needs working on, so it'll be doing a bit more of that. In fact, he's probably more of a winger than a left back. I'm not going to actually change him, but he's probably more of a winger. Definitely is. And in fact, I could shift him into attacking mid. Honest. Oh, he actually would be better in attacking mid as well, you know. He's not a left back. He'd be better up front. He'd be better attacking than he would be defending. Oh, his overall would skyrocket. Obviously, his best would be left mid. Or right, uh, maybe right mid, perhaps. I've got to do it, haven't I? I mean, I could put him to a centre mid. But I think he has to go cam, doesn't he? Let's just let's just take this in a second. Eighty nine pace, is, yeah, ridiculous. Dribbling, he's better. He's gonna be better wide, isn't he? But I don't use wide players. Once I use wide players, yeah, we can direct him there. But I think he's gonna to have to be a centre mid because his shooting isn't wonderful. So we've moved our our left back that we we're gonna use for this season to centre mid because he works better there. Um, well, 
I guess Dalton Wilkins will be starting there. We'll maybe give Caballero a bit of a run there just to see how he goes anyway. We'll start him there for the season until he's fully switched. And then we'll put Wilkins back. Fuck's sake, man. Only me who could sign a left back and end up with a cam. I mean, he could have been a cam. It's such a sentiment, but... Could have been a cam. Bloody hell. Right, well... That's just the way it is. Adam Ploshek. There's a blast from the past. No, 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 no. Stop, 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 stop. And it just said Italy won the World Cup. We'll take a look at that in a second. Uh, where is he? No, no, no. Where is... Where is our boy? Where is Adam Ploshek? Did I miss it? Oh, shit. Burnley have signed uh, Basuma. We're not going to go into detail on that one. Right, no, I'm, I'm doing this. Um, I'm doing this for a purpose. This is a um, okay. Jesus Christ! Okay, oh, right, is he here? He is. Adam Loschek. This was the man I used in a previous career mode that you might have heard of, called the Bradford City career mode. And boy, did he pop off! He grew to a ninety-six. Obviously, I don't think growth will be that effective now, but Jesus Christ, he was brilliant. And his name coming up is a blast from the past. And he's actually cost more than Ilkay Gundawan or a sim amount, more or less. I'm keeping the scout on him just to see how he's going to do. I completely forgot about possibly sending him. Obviously, we can't right now. Maybe when we go a bit higher, but... Madness. He... He is going to be, like, one of the best. Maybe not Mbappe, Haaland, Stantor, but he will be a very consistent, solid striker. Now, we'll still get these Year Scout monthly reports on the first of every month just to give us a little update on potentials and overalls. And uh, Tabak, I think it may be time to bring him up before I sour on him, really. Although I'm kind of souring on him already, to be honest. His potential's kind of a little... Uh, I don't know. Well, I'm going to keep... Do I keep him? I'll keep him till he has to move up, I think. Vladko Ilic, I'm going to bring him up and send him out on loan. Bogdanovic, it's fine. Welch is looking really good, you know. Um, Susak can stay. Gardner. I just don't need another goalkeeper, but I'm not going to get rid of him. Because he does look okay. Kovac, looks decent. Gerbasic, I wish his potential looked a little better. It makes his overall look less worse. But I think, I think it's time to go for Harry Marshall. And I'll give a bit more time for the other Gerbasic as well. Will I? I'll see. Well, give him another month. But we're just going to count down the days now till the start of the season. And then we'll end the episode right there. Will we get any more transfer dealings in our favour? We will. Atletico de San Luis have expressed an interest in signing Roman Lischka. For a fee of 1.1 million. Now he is worth one. And it's a decent offer. But I'm going to say no. I'm willing to give him a chance. Till the end of the transfer window. That's something I clear Lishka. If you play bad you will be gone. I'm dreaming about this happening. Yeah oh shit. Yeah I meant to put you on loan. Thank you for reminding me actually. I'm glad he messaged me. Because <laughs> I meant to send him out on loan. Or at least put him on the loan list. I just completely forgot. So, where is he? Vladko. We'll just do it by position. Um, as a transfer list. We won't put him on development plan. Oh, shit. Not transfer list. Fuck. No, 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 no. Sorry, lad. Uh, <laughs> loan list. Now, there's a couple of things we need to do, obviously, before the start of the season. We'll be doing shirt numbers. And then we will be, hopefully, ready. Obviously, the other thing will be just mentally preparing. Ronan and Brady. Oh, shit. You're meant to go on the transfer list. Well, you're asking for a game. You're not going to get it, I'm afraid. Unfortunately, you've kind of fallen massively down the picking order over the summer. Uh, I'll think about it. I'm sorry, mate. I hate to tell you. You have... We needed a better defence. We're going to have to have a very good defence if we're going to go up. And 
as much as you were all right. Oh, you were done the transfer list. Okay, that's fine. So what we're going to do before we kick off League 2, which will be next episode anyway, so we're just finishing off here now, finishing up. Kit numbers. Roman Lishka will be officially becoming the number one. If you can hear me smacking my D-pad, I apologise. I'm just trying to get down there quickly. Dordovic will be 12. Caballero, I'm still undecided on because he will be moving to centre mid. We'll leave him for now. In fact, we're just going to do the main. We're just going to do the main starters. We'll just do it by over, we'll do it by overall. Actually, fuck it this way. Jay Mason, he's he's number twenty four, and I've been used to him having that number, but I think it's finally time. What is his contract? What is he paying? He's not even the more. Nah, I'd be mad too. I would be mad too if I was Jay Mason. I think I've got to renew it, don't I? What's his... How long has he got left? Can I back off his menu, please? He's got a year and 11. He's worth 55 million, man, and he's getting paid 2k a week. I'm gonna... Yeah, no, I'm gonna have to. I'm sorry, I'm gonna have to. I know it's gonna take a chunk out of our wage budget, but he's gonna have to get a bit more pay. Crucial, duh. Uh, two years. Yeah. No extension. All right. Well, then we'll agree on a year. I think just cause you're a really good player now. You get all big. You can leave. Release clause. Yeah. Please tell me what you want. I don't know what you want. That's not bad actually. Five point four k wage. <laughs> no wonder he's upset about his contract. He's the best player in the club. All right, he, uh, anyway, he's going to be officially the number 10. Albert Gomez is going to officially become the number 5. Which means Lorenzo De Angelis will become the number 4. Sorry, Ronan Brady. Or is that Nathan Parker? Sorry, Nathan Parker. Shuhu, number 9 already. Marius Marin, I like him with a 27, so I'm going to leave him. And Aldo, I'm happy with a 28 on him. Lucas is fine with the 8, but if I do get Caballero to centre mid and he is higher overall than 67, Caballero will get the number 8. Arlo Bourne, number 2, that's fine. Ruben Lischko, just done number 1. Caballero, we're still waiting on. Callum Lees, number 7 is fine. I like the 20 on Latanzio. Vuksic. It's going to be number six. Which means Furrer, yeah, we'll have to go up a little bit. Josh Guest is fine. Nathan Parker is fine. Martin Furrer is okay. He's 24. Dalton Wilkins will be the number three. Jeez, Will and Brady will go all the way up to 32. If they're not in the first team squad, they're not really as important. These are alright. These are alright. These are alright. That's fine. That's fine. That's fine. As we go down here, I won't really care too much. Yeah, I think that's I think that's what we'll settle with. If I want to change any during the season, that's what we'll do. So on shirt numbers, we've got Lishka number one, Bourne number two, Wilkins number three, DeAngelis number four, Albert Gomez number five, Vuxic number six. He will definitely be the backup and he will... He'll probably grow really well still. He will get a lot of backup performance. Like opportunities kind of thing. Uh, Callum Lee's number seven. That's fine. Finley Lucas number eight. I've said about the situation with him and Caballero. Shuhu number nine. Definitely. Jay Mason number 10. Definitely. Josh Guest number 11. Um, all these are fine. And then Laura Tanzio number 20. I'm happy to keep him at 20. But... Um, Honestly, if it wasn't for sure who he'd probably be, uh, Latangio would be the nine. Caballero's at 22 for now, but we said that with Finley Lucas. If he gets better than Finley Lucas, when we switch him to centre mid, he'll be the eight. Uh, Alexandre. Alexandre might be the, the seven, actually, and Callum Lees may have to switch up. What number would Callum Lees be, though? 
I don't want him to be 12. Who would be 17? Who's 17? Adam Kemp. Oh, that's fine. I'm sorry that like, I feel like some of the original faces are getting pushed out a little bit here. And Lee's is actually the captain because uh, Lucas has dropped to the bench. Yeah. Well, it's just the way it is around here. If you want to retire, you're going to get replaced, all right? We don't fuck around. Uh, 17. Kemp can be whatever he wants. He won't be playing. But that is going to be it, I think. So that is a starting 11. For now, anyway. I've got Caballero starting at left back. Because I did sign him as a left back and I want to see how he does up there. I know obviously he won't stay there. Uh, he'll probably replace L he'll replace Lees, won't he? I've already replaced Lucas. I was talking about how Caballero will be replacing Lucas. Alexandre is already in for Lucas. Lucas will obviously be the backup now. But uh, Caballero, if he comes up looking brilliant, I'll have to drop Lees, won't I? I, I can't drop Lees, man. Caballero might have to be the backup, to be honest. Is he on an, I think Caballero's on an important anyway, so he won't complain too much. All these crucials make sense, apart from our Born. I don't know why he's crucial, but whatever. Um, Caballero isn't important, so that's fine. That's going to end, though, this episode of the Collingwood FC Creator Club Career Mode Preseason's done. The signings I want to do are done. That is the squad that we're going to go into the League 2 season with. Realistically, Caballero, like I've, I've, we've said it already, Caballero is going to switch to centre mid. He'll move in there. Wilkins will come back as the left back. Hopefully he can grow well. If he doesn't, we may have to make some changes at the end of the season. As well as Laurel Tanzio. Laurel Tanzio needs to grow by what he did again. And even then it might not be enough to remain in the first team. He was 55 when we signed him. Now 61. So he'll need to get to a 67 I think. At least by the end of the season. And even then he might drop. Like I said. To a backup striker. We might bring in. We might bring in Guidi. If he's grown really well. Although. Even though he's a free agent. Guidi might not actually grow really well. But I don't know. Anyway. That is the end of the episode. I'm going to end it there. I've been talking a lot. I've been doing a lot of transfer business at the end of this. The gameplay ended a long time ago. And I'm probably sure the majority of you, if not all of you by now, have clicked off. So I'm going to leave it there. Um, we'll be kicking off against Rochdale. I don't know how many games we'll be doing. But we'll kick off against Rochdale. We'll have the cup game against Wimbledon. And then we'll play Walsall, potentially Salford as well, in the league. Um, that will be the Carabao Cup, I believe. And then that will be the uh, Papa John's Trophy, which I don't care about as much against Cambridge but that's it for now I hope you guys have enjoyed and I'll see you next time when we kick off League 2 for the second season officially <laughs>